talking about it. We're making the red rum, baby. Step one, it's gonna be one and a half parts rum. And right. here we go, here we have it uh, ready to go. We're gonna- I'm making, uh, I guess, four right now because we have a surprise guest. A surprise here. guest. Uh, Lex, do you want a drink right now or are you- oh, yeah. Not right oh, now, yeah. so. Make, uh, she said she's gonna be like a half an hour late though, so. Okay. Um, Maybe just two for now, and then by the time she gets here and gets settled, uh, it'll be yes. probably time for us to have a second one. Good point. How about that? So let's, we're doing two right now, keeping it simple. Step one, one and a half parts of rum. So that's three, because we're making two. Step two, one half part compare. Ooh, compare, you make me so crazy. And nothing really rhymes with a compare. Ooh, compare, you're driving me. No, I, I can't think of anything that rhymes with compare. Um. <laughs> Ooh, Campari, you make me so sorry. That's yeah, that works. Man. There's a good one. Uh-oh. I need that. Wounded soldier. Wounded soldier. Surprise Carly incoming. Such a surprise. <laughs> uh, step three, one half part cherry liqueur. I think my favorite ingredient in um, a Home lot of these. Home. She's a man, baby. Hey. Big boy, little boys with the five just to get it kicking. Hey. hey, we're going to toast you in just a second, buddy, because those are the incentives tonight. Of course, we always have incentives for cocktails, and they, they pretty much stay pretty much the same. My body's feeling better, so I can uh, lip sync with you this time around. It's gonna be a $5 a toast to you, which we're gonna give to Big Boy LaBoyj. And then $10 for karaoke, any song you want. I understand if you need us to get a little drunker for that one to start, uh, and especially get us drunker for the lip sync competition to start. So there you go, click that donate link. Um, I am desperate. Oh, she's a man, baby. India, 15 feckin' months. Damn, what's up, India? Thank you so much. Good to see you, man. One fourth part curacao, which we will talk about what a curacao is um, and where it comes from. Uh, spoiler alert, it comes from a place called curacao. Uh, ooh, it's cocktails time, lads and ladies. Hi, chat. What's up, Unicorn Scroll? Everybody, come on in. Get comfy. Get happy. I am I am so excited to be in cocktails at this point. Oh, she's a man, baby. You were welcome for the raid earlier. Uh, thank you so much for the 16 months, JT Dubs. You're the best, man. I would, I'll read, I would be happy to raid you anytime, and yes, I mean that sexually. Um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. Any, I, I, I only don't raid you. Because I don't know, uh, because I don't know, um, that you're on. You know what I mean? And I'm not thinking about it. And I'm a selfish man. Step five, stir with ice and pour that sweet, sweet bastard. Uh, and that is what Jeff is doing right now. You can't smell the smells in here, but between the cocktail mix and the dinner Lexi's making, it is like heaven in this apartment right now, I have to say. It's tickling me how you say curacao. Yours is more funnier. Curacao. JTW's is sneaky. You know why I'm sneaky? Um, are you are you okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know why? Uh, you know why uh, I'm sneaky, JTW's that I always forget. Whenever I play Overwatch, I forget that I'm always in incognito mode, so no one thinks to hit me up to play with them, and I need to stop doing that. I haven't been playing a lot lately though, cause Red Dead Redemption and Soul Calibur Six. It's amazing. It's amazing what's happening these days. Now, I am no stranger to this drink. I was drinking it quite a lot at Jeff's party before I switched to turpentine. What was, you know what I did? I got drunk and I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm drinking beer tonight. And I saw there were IPAs in the fridge and that's what got me fucked up. Yeah. IPAs get me, sh I'm realizing now. And the hangover is like, you can't move the next day. Is, isn't it pronounced Curacao? Is it? Is that how you pronounce it? I think it? it's Curacao. Yeah. I go curacao. Cur curacao. Maybe curacao. curacao yeah. Step six. Come drink with us forever and ever and <gasps> ever and ever. Yeah, those are the girls. Those are the daughters. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. awesome. Cheers. Cheers. And cheers to, uh... Cheers to Big to Boy LaVoyage, man. Thank you so much for the five to start things off. You're giving me hope right now. Mmm. Oh my god, I love it. It's so tasty. It's a nice drink. It's so tasty. Um, so, check in. Yeah. We're in a weird mood. But that's perfect. We're in a spooky, scary mood. Both mm -hmm. of us are scared and terrified. I'm scared of Lexi. You're scared of your job. Yeah. We're gonna get through this. Yeah. 
At least yeah. your terror doesn't lurk within your very halls. <laughs> That's true. You know what I mean? Well, she is... I lurk within its halls for a good portion of the day. But, uh, <laughs> That's true. Hey, Blue Vitriol. Yo, what's up, Blue Vitriol? And, uh, good who to see I you. Miss? Who else is coming in here? Unicorn's Too much, Whoa, says JT Dubs. Oh, what does this terrify you? Come drink Horrible with us, key. JT, forever and ever. <laughs> and all right, let's look, look. Je Jeff, uh, we no. always start things off with like a little bit of a check in, a little bit of a hi, how are you? Um, we went to your party on Saturday. Mm -hmm. We had a great time. I got so drunk, so terribly drunk. Uh, it was, it was, uh, yeah, it was definitely. Um, we there were not, there was not many sober people other than those kids you saw when you bed around nine. Oh so. my god, and, and I feel like when Halloween. I was talking about this before we started. When Halloween is on a. Uh, Friday, cocktails, hell yeah, life is nice. When Halloween is on a Wednesday, the, the holiday just does not end. It You just can't get away from it. I have been doing Halloween since, what? What did we do? What did I do on Friday? Friday, I took it easy. Since Saturday, I've been doing Halloween. Starting with, hey, what's up, Fabrizio? And what's up, Amanda hey, Bonanza? Amanda, how you doing? Um, is that Jeff or John Waters? I know, right? He looks right. This is guess who Jeff is maybe trying to be right now. Do you even know who you are right now? Uh, no. Just mustache Jeff? Yeah, yeah. Mustache uh, Jeff. Creepy Jeff. Jeff Waters. That's great. Oh, 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 oh. Was. Thank you for the emotes. I'm permanent in a spooks mood. It happens with severe anxiety. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, is that Jeff or is that Ryan Gosling? Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, um, I am going, moving, moving. I am not even going to uh, look at Ashy, homie. <laughs> I'm a ghoul. I'm like a ghoulish skeleton man or something. You know what I mean? I had to figure something out. We, we, this is a last minute. How do I be in a costume again for the zillionth time? Uh, so, yeah, we had Saturday with John Twitcherman into the Halloween party. Sunday, mm -hmm. I, like, didn't leave the house. I just played Red Dead. And, like, yeah. we went out to din and had dinner um, uh, my sugar mama took me out to dinner on Sunday night, which was great. Uh, uh, we also, who, what else do we have? We, we've got, uh, and then Monday was Stick or Treat, which is a show, uh, it was at the Knitting Factory. All these, com it's like 50 comics go do three minute sets, one after the other, yeah. dressed like different. I was Judge Kavanaugh, which I look too terrifyingly like if I just, my normal face without... The makeup and everything. So sad I miss Twitchman. Had to have stupid sex and said, Mr. Butts, <laughs> that's the worst. I'm so sorry for you. Um, white face, hey, controversial. Um, so yeah, we all get together. We do, com you know, we, we do quick bits as other comics. I was with the Reformed Whores. Lexi did it as well with the Reformed Whores. And we did Hee Haw. And I was Judge Kavanaugh on the Hee Haw show. As a special guest, I got to scream, rape should be legal. Everyone <laughs> laughed. Uh, I was terrified at how that was going to go. Everybody thought it was very fun, did very well, and I just went off stage, and I was very nervous because, you know, you only have three minutes up there, and if you're the one, that, most everybody does well. If you're the one group or solo person that bombs, you stand out. There's a lot of really funny Galveston, people. Galveston, how you doing? What's happening, Galveston? How you doing, man? So, uh, that was awesome. I had a great time. And now we're in cocktails today. I've got Japanese Halloween special tomorrow, followed by a cowman gig in Bushwick. That was crazy. The whole gig had to be moved last minute to a different venue. So we found out one of the owners of our original booked gig was some dirtbag who, like, was just a racist, weird shithead that, like, got arrested for, like, stabbing a dude. And, like, it was crazy. And so we last minute switched to a different place. Um, so now we're playing at um, Our Wicked Lady in Bushwick tomorrow. I'll be going on around 10 p.m. And then Wizard and the Bruiser the next day. We're doing uh, Avatar The Last Airbender um, uh, Fanta and Korra as well. I believe their follow-up. Will you be touching upon the M. Night Shyamalan movie? Yes, we actually did what we call Giggle Flicks, which is pretty much Mystery Science, okay. uh, where we talked over it. I will definitely cover it, probably more on the brief side. Yeah, of course. Because it's so sad. For, because that is, apparent, you know, I haven't sat and watched all of Avatar, but I know it's strong. I know it's very good. Mm -hmm. And it's such a shame when something like that gets um, made into a movie for, like, people who don't know what it is, and then everybody thinks it's just terrible bullshit. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, that, that, that animated series did not deserve that. Maybe one day there will be a... A, a reasonably decent, or, or they we don't do that need a lot one. of times. I feel like when there's something really, really good, and then there's a certain fan base that have it, 
had that, that is really really behind it, and then they make a movie or a TV show or a cartoon or something out mm-hmm. of it, and they just completely fuck it up. Mm-hmm. Like they did that with uh, the his his Dark Materials, the, uh, yes. the Golden Compass. God, they shat the bed on that. I think that so, I think um, that you could probably put it uh, a new. A, a re- What's nice is a lot of times they'll just sleep on it for a really long time. You know what I mean? And then, like, all of a sudden, <laughs> that stash, I can't. Thanks, Tommy. Um, BRB, Thank grabbing you. dinner from Sonic. Anyone want anything? Um, I will. I need some matches. Mike Sinzel, yeah, I also, I just don't talk loud enough. Holden has a naturally projecting voice. Yes, I have a I very have loud a, voice. Uh, I'm going to turn, I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn have, me down. I have down. a light nasal sort of whine. I'm going to turn me down, and that should pretty much solve it, actually. And then you can yeah. and then you can just turn it up. I will try to talk louder, though, too. Yes. Um, uh, what Until else you're drunk I and I forget. I oh, would, we, you were talking about the uh, the, the show, the new venue. And yes, the yes. So oh, we have the concert, and then and then Thursday night to, to finish Halloween out in style. I will be going to my dear friend Ben Epps' place with Carly, actually, um, and we are going to watch Hereditary for the first time, all of us. And this is mainly because um, Lexi is not into like legit horror, and um, so she doesn't want to watch it with me. Uh, Ben's lady is also not into legit horror uh, 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 Ben's lady d- doesn't like it so he hasn't he sh- he can't see with her Carly s- Thanks, is Amanda. just Carly is just perpetually alone mm-hmm. and so but none of us want to watch the movie alone none of us want to be ter- you know it's too scary from the sounds of it everyone is saying this is a brilliant horror film you know what I mean so anyways uh, we're going to, to kind of cap off Halloween Thursday night we're going to watch Hereditary and get all freaked out and then I am done with Halloween. I know, like uh, I know, like a big like spoiler about something that happens uh, uh, kind of early on in Hereditary, and I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. I I I, I, really? I know a little part about it, and I'm like, nope. Not yeah, for me. Not wow. for me. Um, I have to see it. I have to. If it's this good, I have to. I see love Jenger's it. comment. Uh, Jeff is looking like Raul Julia from Adam's Family if he wore glasses and looked totally different. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> My ears automatically adjust to Holden's voice like my child's noisy toys. I don't really hear them anymore. Absolutely. Absolutely, Galveston. I will say, too, I'm really excited about tonight. We've got, um, uh, I've got some history lesson to give you guys. Also, I have the wig of creepy questions. I have a bunch of spooky questions in this terrifying wig that I cannot wait to share with you guys um, and, and get your answers on. Both Jeff and Carly and uh, I'm just gonna look shocked all night. The same things you say, obviously. Oh, Ooh. it's like, would you sleep Ooh. in a coffin overnight? Yeah. You know, um, crazy, creepy <laughs> shit like that. History. History. Oh. My BF isn't a big fan of horror. I'm gonna mention to change that. I'll tell you what, Lexi will go with me on some stuff. She really likes the Halloween franchise. I'm surprised we haven't seen the movie yet. I'm. Um, she likes certain things, but if it's like, I mean, she cannot watch The Exorcist. You know, like for oh, sure. Yeah. Anything that's Satan-y, she really can't handle. Anything that really kind of gets into the religious stuff, it's, it's difficult for her. Like demon, just the concept of demons mm-hmm. is very, I think, difficult for her. Um, in a, in a horror movie, Paranormal Activity. Uh, and then also, I think, just anything that's seriously scary, you know, that's really going for it and achieves a Robo, job. Robo Key thinks with the mustache, has like a confident French painter. Absolutely. Well, you so paint me like I'm, one of I'm your French I'm interested to hear, like, a lot of uh, speculation as, as to what I am. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'd like to find see, out myself, see, so see, please. Sorry, Robo Key. Um, the... I need to what, see Apostle. I love horror. I, I didn't really love it probably until, like, the last, like... Apostle? You know, like, no, like, horror as a ah, genre until, yes. like, probably, like, the last, like, 15, 20 years. Like, this, like, like, um, like the first half of my life, I just was not into it. I was just was scared by everything. And uh, um, I'm not, still not, like, a big fan of, like, this, like, it's gory for the sake of it kind uh-huh. of things. You know, I'm, um, I mean, if there's some in it, I can handle it. But right. it's, like, if there's a but point yeah, the to saws it. But, but yeah, the hostels. Uh, I've any, never anything been torture porn, I, I hate. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, um, I need to see Sabrina. I like I've heard good, it's great. The new Sabrina show is supposed to. Be, I want to check that out. It's supposed actually, to be fucking rad. And uh, I just we just finished um, uh, the Haunting of Hill House. I heard it's I br- so good. I came in a little bit. I remember in India. I, really I know you that. said you were worried that it was like you you were, you were 
it was too there's too much hype about it or it's gonna be bad but i gotta say it's so good because it does my favorite thing with horror is when it blends two genres like with horror just on its own i feel like usually you might get a good like sort of scare thing i think of like a movie like like the grudge like the the american grudge i haven't seen the the, the japanese one but it's like a, where it's like just horror horror scary thing jump scare you know like that oh creepy you know but uh, but if, you're, if you mix it with something i think it's great like mm. I, this was uh, horror with, um, I'd say, like family drama, which weirdly, it really, really works. That's and, awesome. Uh, and it's, it's a slow burn, but it's really, really good and really do you creepy. Think, and, um, do you think that Lexi will enjoy it? She's not huge in horror, but she's not like a completely opposed to horror. Uh, do you think she would? I think she would, because I think the thing is, it's so... Because uh, uh, um, she was down to watch that with me. She was into it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think it, it's it, it's 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 acted so well and and like the story, it's, it's written so well and there's like so many like emo- I cried a lot during this. Really, movie. there were things that like like emotionally got me in this. Did uh, you come? Um, once, but that had nothing to do with the movie. My okay. cat was sitting in my lap in just such a way that the I vibration of the purring. I've been there. It kind of took me there. But <laughs> the uh, <laughs> India thing is yeah, The U.S. Grudge is great comedy. Oh, I agree. Home. She's a bad hey. baby. When you're tipsy enough, hey. can you sing Happy Birthday in Norwegian? Absolutely, Blue Vigil. Oh wow! Absolutely. We'll we'll do it on this set. Remind me if I forget. Thank you so much for the donation. And you're right. We should be a little more tipsy. Um, we should be yeah, more drunk, so just remind us later if I forget. We'll pound these, and then when Carly gets when Carly here, gets we'll, here we'll, we'll, make we'll slam round. another round, and then we'll probably then be drunk enough one. to do that. Yeah. Um, so that should be good. Um, Harry Potter is great. Jeff C. Apostle, it's a delicious blend. I have to check it out. Apostle? I, okay, yeah. I will. Yeah, I looked it looked it up. It looks fucking creepy as all get out. I seriously like like I think genuinely all my favorite like like horror movies. I feel like like are are ones that. Are a metaphor for something, or if they, or they're, uh, um, they, they they blend a couple of genres. Even the I I, I even like the Ring. I like the um, again. I haven't seen the Japanese. Well, I think I might have seen the Ringu. Japanese. I I haven't seen Ringu, or if I do, I don't remember it. But the 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 first Ring I think is really good because it blends horror and a mystery. Yeah, and uh, I think that's really good. Uh, this isn't really a blend, but someone mentioned a movie called uh, Green Inferno. Potter's great. But I am actually I, that's, thinking again, about... That's, that's what's his name. The guy does like the uh, Hostel movies and stuff. I'm oh, not okay. See it. I've, I've heard... Yeah, yeah, there's just like there's a lot of just like. Well, I, you know what I was gonna suggest? Have you ever seen the symbol? Have you ever seen Green Room? Gouged out stuff. Have you ever seen Green Room? No, that looks really interesting. I, I heard loved that's really good. Green Room. That is such a great. That's one of those movies where you like realize what the premise is. Yeah. And with the moment, it's kind of like it has that the thing element to it, uh-huh. where like, like it takes about you know 15, 20 minutes before you before it clicks in what the premise of the film is going to be. Yeah. And when it happens, you're like, I'm so down for this. Yeah. This is awesome. I know just enough about it to make it really, really appealing. Mm-hmm. And I, and yeah, I, it's I legit I definitely awesome, fucking cool premise. Like. Such a good idea. I wish Batman was satanic. I'm By the sure way, they dabbled that in, in that in a. Uh, uh, I'm sure there was a. There was that one. There was that Batman series called The Cult. Remember, it was like where, where like this uh, all these in Gotham, like a lot of homeless people in particular started being taken in by this guy, like the Reverend or something. I think he's even referenced a little bit in the last Arkham game. But anyway. Blue um, Ruin. I've heard about, about Blue off. Ruin. That was a sh- that was uh, another one by the have Green I seen Room that? guy. I think, uh, right? Maybe I've seen that. I think I might have seen that. I've heard that was good as well. Yeah, I've heard that's very good as I well. I hope he just does like a whole series thing of things with like a different color. That'd be great. Yeah. I don't know if uh, he had. Maybe he has. That's kind of great. Yeah. That's the only two that I know. What else has he done? Is Blue Ruin the revenge movie? Is Blue Ruin? I think a it is. That's what it, that sounds. That sounds like what I remember. If if that's the yeah. case, then I think I definitely watched that. I read and it like was a little awesome. Yeah, sucks the actor died. Dude, literally got ran over by his own parked car. What? Jesus! In Blue Ruin? Yeah. Oh wait, no, no. Yeah. Actually, no. In Green Room, that's that was uh, uh, Anton uh, Yelchin. Yeah, he got run over by. He got actually like pinned Damn. between his own car and like a fence. Something there was it was oh, something brutal. really dumb that should have been like avoidable. It was like I think something with the car. The worst. Um, Upgraded. Yeah, that guy was so fucking good horror? too. I can check that out. I love. I gotta this. write these down. Upgrade, yeah, I love apostle. this horror movie talk. This is great. Yeah, um, that's kind of a fun thing. Let's keep it coming so yeah, for sure. Um, and uh, you know, I will talk about now. I will talk about my history with horror films. I also turned uh, around on horror movies. I used to be deeply opposed to horror films, mm-hmm. just not into the genre at all. All through high school, into college, um, I hate horror movies that are metaphors like Babadook. Then you probably don't like Babadook. 
Um, I like Babadook okay. I think, I think again, Babadook was, Wait, who like, hit? many horror films. Babadook well, is scary until, kind of until you finally, like, really see the monster. And then it, it, it got a lot less scary I think it's really good. The, the, I, I actually... Well, I know what you mean by horror movies that are metaphors. That they go, to, they hit you over the head with it. Yeah. yeah. But, but like I said, that's why I like the blending of a genre. Like, yeah. like, like, there's nothing metaphor. I mean, I guess there. You, you could Dead argue there's too. there's always like a, a metaphoric element about like a, like a, a lot of like uh, horror. You could you could probably find a metaphor in anything. But yeah, ones that are like doing that just for the sake of it. And um, um, can you remember your first horror movie you saw as a kid? Well, okay, let me let me talk about my my. Uh, uh, upbringing with horror movies, right? Yeah. Definitely opposed to them. But I was in high school. There was one exception, and that was actually The Shining because I was a huge Stanley Kubrick fan in high school. Huge Stanley Kubrick fan. And so I watched all of his films, including The Shining. Just loved his work so much. I wrote a research paper on him. I can't wait to do A Witch and the Bruiser mm -hmm. on him. I think we're going to get that in around December with the movie Signs of the Mads. By the way, the other uh, last podcast. The kid, Network, uh, I would say, podcast. Jenger, yes, the kid. Oh, if you're talking about, if you're talking about the uh, Bobby Duck and the kid is annoying, yes, he was. But I think that was part of the point. Actually, is this you're, this mom you're kind of seeing like what she's dealing with too? Yeah. Kind of like took you. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, because kids are fucking annoying, chat, and you need to learn that. Sometimes, okay. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Hello, Jeff. That is a creepy mustache. Thank you, Shoe Pace. Good to see you. And. Uh, I saw Koala came in. I didn't see it earlier. Hell yeah, so Koala. Big Bad Wolf. It. Practical effects and wisecracking monster. Bad guy from Kindergarten Cop is the wolf. That's awesome. Um, Carblot, what's up? Everybody's My first got... horror movie was The Shining as well. As an 11-year-old, that didn't traumatize me at all. That doesn't... Oh, that makes so much sense now, knowing Galvin skin. That's a great... <laughs> A great thing, actually, about horror, though, is because there's, the people definitely do have strong feelings about it. They're just like, I like this kind of horror. I don't like this kind of horror. You know, like that. So it could be somebody's favorite horror movie, and then somebody else in the same room as their one of their best friends could think it's bullshit. It's right. just like it's like what it actually evokes in you. And yes. I think that's that's kind of cool about it. So um, I don't know what my first horror film was. You know what it might have been actually. Someone said they did. Uh, Gal was gonna say he doesn't like jump scare horror movies, but I will say I do kind of like a lot of jump scare horror movies in a, in a let's get drunk with a bunch of friends and scream at the TV kind of way, mm -hmm. or let's go see it in the movie theater kind of way. Yeah. Um, man, like Paranormal Activity in the movie theater, like holy shit, so much fun. Conjuring in the theater with like a rowdy opening night movie theater was yeah. amazing. Um, but but uh, what I was gonna say was Poltergeist actually might have been it because I probably caught that. That was definitely mine. Actually, I was trying to remember what it was, and yes, Blue Beer Trail. That was actually mine as well. Was Poltergeist, um, and I did actually. Yeah, I, I I did actually really enjoy it. it yeah, was, nice. Uh, yeah, so I think for me it might have been Scream. I was scared of, of horror until then. I think I'm Scream. Older than you, so yeah, it was probably the same. I think yeah. Scream was my first legit like I'm gonna sit down and watch a horror movie, not like catching it parts of it randomly on HBO. I could be wrong. It might have been something else, but I'm pretty sure Scream was the first. And what a great one to start with. It's it's an it's an homage to all, you know, slasher films. Um, my mom got my stuff. name from Pet Cemetery. She raised me on her. I'll, I'll give you a Please. Thank you. Um, Carl Blatt, yes, we do look like fancy cocktail guys. <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> Everyone, this is the same lighting we've had every time, but, but this one episode, everyone is um, having like, like awful, awful times. Stuff Did you unlock the door? I, oh. I, I, I hit the door button, and I didn't unlock it. Yet. Um, so anyways, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, so anyways, my history with horror movies, definitely not into them at all. Um, I saw some stuff. I remember I, t I tried to watch The Exorcist, but the, the desecrated uh, Virgin Mary statue, I was like, nope, I'm good. There's a weird cock coming out of the Virgin Mary. I hey. Hear you. Hello. Carly's here, y'all. Hi. Um, uh, but anyways, like uh, later on in college, um, I started watching... It was, it was the, the... And I've talked about this many times before, but it was the summer leading up to Freddy vs. Jason. And we decided... Like, pretty much once a week, we went to Blockbuster, and we rented a Freddy and a Jason. We rented a Friday the 13th and a Nightmare on Elm Street, and we watched through both series, like, at the same time, mm -hmm. and I fucking loved it. I had such a great time doing that. I, like, really cherished that summer. I just, we just watched all these great slasher flicks, and I totally fell in love with horror movies, and ever since then, I've been, like, a total fan of the, of the genre. 
I'm trying to think of like what my 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 my. You're getting a lot of love in chat here, by the way. Yeah, uh, a lot of Carl, Carl, a lot of high Carly's. For all life is nice. Blue Vitriol, Robo Key, India. Everybody's uh, excited to see it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, Yes. Would yes. You, you can get spooky. Um, we can I'm pull actually up. dressed incredibly inappropriately. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're in like a cowboy jumpsuit. This is not cowboy be, jumpsuit it's night. It's scary spooky night. It's supposed to be 65 degrees. You can do a scary voice. There is makeup. Um, we can pull out the makeup bag, which I think is just sitting in the bedroom right now uh, oh, that Lexi is in. Blood. I'm trying yeah. to think of like what the gateway movie was for me when I finally uh, like was like I'm, I'm down with Roar because I remember like after that it's like I caught up it's like I I watched a bunch of stuff from the just 80s when everything I was a kid, you know like I was just yeah like, I was like oh, I'm gonna watch ba- I'm gonna watch like every single Friday the 13th I'm gonna watch uh, you know and things like that then I'm also gonna just watch other things that I you know thought might have been too scary for me or something at the time you know and it's caught up with with so many things and hell yeah um yeah. It feels good to pour a drink. That yeah, it's segue. time. Uh, and I'm gonna, that's a great time for me to talk about incentives, ladies and gentlemen. Incentives, here you go. I think after this next drink, we'll oh, be yeah, drunk enough to formally do them correctly. Um, $5 yeah, oh, yeah, for a yeah. toast for you. We've got a sing happy birthday in Norwegian yeah. already. Um, we've got $10 for karaoke. Now that Carly's here, we can do some singing. Uh, $25 for the lip sync competition with uh, between Jeff and myself. Any song you want for the karaoke or the lip sync competition, um, there it is. Those are the incentives, and uh, this is how we do it. We had make. I have makeup. I know. But I just know whatever. Wait, is the stream just uh, starting? I thought I came at the end again. No, absolutely not. Um, so. Uh, let's go through the steps. Let's let's talk about the making. Uh oh, spoiler alert! That's the end. Red rum. The ingredients: rum, Campari, cherry liqueur, dry, curacao. I guess it's fucking called, but I like my way of saying it. Curacao. Um, is Carly in a Christmas suit? I can't see it uh, wheel uh, well in that light. Says was. No, it's like a, it's got like a guitars on it. Shit. Go. She has a giant seahorse on her back. There it is. There it is. There's That's only half of it. That's the half of it. I'll never be able to really show that. Yeah. I'm so un- I'm a seasonable. You're such a non like backless wearing clothing person, and yet you got it's this gigantor. Things. Here, if I put this around my neck, then am I like in a costume? Uh, yeah, we'll give you the cowboy hat. And oh, you're a cowgirl. Perfect. Where's your cowboy hat? It's in the bedroom where you just were. On the phone. Oh, okay. Um, here, I can grab you some stuff. Let me just grab you some stuff really quick. Why don't you jump in really quickly here and and just talk to people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me go through the steps. <laughs> yeah, Step yeah. one. One half parts rum. Step two, a half part Campari. Step three, one half part cherry liqueur. Step four, one quarter part curacao. Step five, stir with ice and pour that motherfucker up. <laughs> Come drink with us. Forever oh, and ever and ever. Boom. There it is. Red rum. It looks so good. For the win. Those kiddos. Um, is Jackie on Twitch or is she on? Jackie's competing with you on Twitch tonight. Oh my god. What is their Twitch, by the way? What is it? Um, Jeff, your daughters are adorable. I just Here, found out Jackie's on like Twitch. Hold you might have competition. Oh my god. Who said my daughters are adorable? Thank you. Yeah. The picture is uh, so good. Adorably creepy. Okay. Yeah, in the best way. Okay. Here. I'm also not, I don't need to sit here. He told me to and then. The gotcha. The, the Patreon stream, <laughs> don't you have to like be a member of the Patreon to like access it or whatever? Um, that is a great Shining Family costume. I know. Okay. I'm going to jump off. I got to. We're going to uh, play some musical chairs here really quick. Yeah. You, Carly, you don't you mind me being me. sick. No, I'm totally playing. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pour a little bit here for us. Uh, yeah, no, this is a very goofy jumper. Uh, I'm opening the windows. It's like I'm a cart. It's like a cart. What's up, guys? How are you today? <laughs> oh, man. I have so many questions. Well, are you gonna okay. have a back tattoo? I honestly, I, I love it. Like, I would wear more. Um, more backless thing. 
things because I do like to see it, but I forget. It is interesting. Carly? Yes, I got. I got. Yeah, what is that? A bag of makeup? Uh, I'll just put it on the camera again. Oh. Yeah. Well, here we go. But look at how quick that is. Now I love it with your wide screen. Now we have we actually have room. We don't have to be like yeah. this on top of each other. So, ah, oh, all right. Holden's new equipment. Well, thank you everybody for joining uh, us tonight. This is cocktails, and let's have a toast. I came at such a good time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And. Let us sing happy birthday in Norwegian. Is that because it's Galveston's birthday, by the way? Or is that what's just, just the weirdest request ever? Um, Galveston, I look forward to hearing your assessment of uh, your native tongue. That is true. I am from Wisconsin, so I hate I'll tell hair. you what. I can sweatshirt it up for a few days, and there's not a lot of fashion. I got no shame. I wore the same sweatshirt for days. Siddle Frank says, Yo, Holden, you like horror and stuff. You like metal too, right? Because uh, Ice Nine Kills just put out the sick new slasher themed album. Super solid and really clever. I We do like metal. I like some metal more than others. Uh, koala. There's no trash talking in Wisconsin. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> back to metal. Uh, I, I, I never know exactly. Yes. Which one? Thank you. Like, I like death metal and I like uh, another one. Okay. Siddle Frank. Yo, Holden, you like horror and stuff. You like metal too, right? Absolutely. I read the Ice Nine Kills. Oh, did you already read this whole comment? Yeah, that's not good. You read it now. Gotcha, gotcha. Very cool. I'm going to check it out. Very neat. Um, okay. Let us sing the Norwegian Happy Birthday song. All right. You ready? Oh my God, oh my God. I remember when we even tried. Uh, are you ready? Yeah. Does I don't even know how it goes. No, I have no idea for how it goes. For a dig song. One, two, three, four. Hora for a dig song. Feeler DDR. Ja dig vil vi gratulere. Alle i ring omkring dig vi sjar. Og se naja vil vi marsjer. We're just assuming it's the same tune. But probably not. Buke nike ne es nu as om krig. Dance for deg med hop og spread og spring. Onske deg av kjertet alle god ting. Og si meg sa hva hva vil du mer? Gratulær! There you go. That is your Norway birthday Perfect. song for Galveston. That was 100% That was donated for by uh, Blue wow. Vitriol, actually. Tell us how authentic we sounded. Now. Yeah, how did that sound, by the way? Was that it's good? Just, it's just... <laughs> but really, is this racist? Why does Olin's voice always get higher when he reads the different I, languages? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm really trying to read the words correctly in the way that I know they might sound, but I don't know Norwegian. <laughs> that is so fucking funny. Well, anyways, there are the donation incentives. I'll post it up one more time. Um, uh, $5 for a toast for you, $10 for karaoke, and $25 for a lip sync competition. I would love to get a karaoke block going. Um, and in the meantime... Tulu appears in the living room after yeah. the song, so that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it sounded like my drunk family was singing. Is that really the standard birthday song, by the way? Like, that is, like, the birthday song? Well, I really want to know what it sounds like. It sounds like, I can sing. It sounds like this. Gildipyartanyartigliortuglorgi. Uh, yes, it is. It is the standard Norwegian birthday song. Shows. I want, I'm watching Lilyhammer now. I can't remember. If oh it's yeah, Lilyhammer's fun. I enjoy it. I don't know if I suggest it. It's fine. I bet Ed suggested that. It's fine. It, to me. I, it doesn't blow my mind, but it's it's okay. Oh, she's a man, baby. Crash test penguin with the two months. Thank you so much, man. Um, okay, uh, let's talk. A, let's do a little history lesson. Uh, and uh, then we'll get back to like uh, we were talking I about think horror you mean movies. Creepy I feel like history it. lesson. Creepstery lesson. I will not take long with this. Okay, this will not take too long. 
Yeah, you look like um, you you should tell people your what's her name from Toy Story two because that's what you look like. You look like uh. I never know what to do when you're reading this, so I'm trying to determine who's the bit. Who's 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 the 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 Woody's friend in Toy Story two? The the cow cowgirl. Oh uh oh. God, voiced by uh, by uh, Cusack, by yeah, Joan Cusack. Cusack. What's her name? Jessie. Jessie. Yeah. Thank oh, you, original yeah. Brendan. She looks so like Jessie, right? That's so Jessie. The funny thing is, he's teasing me about Red Dead uh, Redemption. Like, yeah. Home Daters, home. She's a man, baby. Money, money by Billy Idol will nice. do. Absolutely. Keep going. Um. Anyway, I think I did dress myself in this goofball way today because of watching a lot. <laughs> Oh yeah. Life really likes the costumes. Yeah. Of Red Dead's so good, man. I've been playing the living lord out of it. I should put this over my face so that none of you can convict me of a crime. So, Rum, let's talk about it. I, I this is your own comment Jackbox time. Maybe we'll end with some Jackbox. We're we're fishing for t extra time. Um, Jeff, what was I gonna ask you? You the Red Rum is your. This is your made-up drink. Not entirely. I, okay. I actually, I, I tried to look, I looked up some other, because uh, obviously it's the sort of thing that somebody else would have done. Because it's a shining thing, you know, Halloween thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, there, other, there are recipes online um, that are similar to this. Uh, I think I, I combined two, I think. I think I did. I think I'm right about that. Anyway, I just wrote down some stuff, and I, I tried some stuff at home. A lot of times when I'm like trying to make something up, I'll take the elements of it that I think sounds good from one or more recipes, and then I'll just experiment with it until I come up with something I like, and that's what I did with this one, I think. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. I can't guarantee nobody else has come up with this exact concoction before, but uh, yeah. Is this a, this is the Howdy, drink Lone Star K. Lone Star K. Yeah, Same at the party, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this yeah. is the drink that, that got us all I destroyed. Had a very interesting. Yeah, I made these yeah. at the uh, at our Halloween party. Yeah. I don't necessarily remember the very end of it, but I know you're like everybody else. Had though. a lot of fun. Yeah. And I made it home, and I don't think I got sick. How Howdy, Lone Star Kate. Aw, and Lexi is an angel. Says something, I guess. And Solid3393 sna three, three, three Snake says, The power of Christ compels you. Only the penitent man will pass. Penitent man, penitent man, penitent man, penitent man kneels. <laughs> I've got to watch to, that movie He kneels, again. but then he has to like, do a spin. He does There's like, nothing a flip. about the yeah. spin. Those, yeah, I those thought that was cheating on the behalf of, uh, on behalf of uh, Rolling Man. Of Yehovah's... Uh, uh, that was just what got it. it. Once he was down, he could maneuver. You know what I yeah. mean? Either way, whatever. True. Um, Neil! I love it. Okay, uh, I need to rewatch uh, the Indiana Jones trilogy again. I just realized, so I'm gonna do that soon. I'm glad you to hear you call it a trilogy and not a quadrilogy. Or also, oh, so, of course yeah. not. Also, Lexi, I saw, I just saw online every Harry Potter starting November first on Netflix. Holy shit! Really? So we should probably marathon Harry Potter in the month of We're November. We're trying to figure out like when the girls are old enough to start them on that. I think they need to be a little bit older. A little, like little that. older, but they're getting there. Yeah, they're getting I there. You can, you can go ahead and give like, them a maybe wand. Like eight or nine. I was yeah, say eight. yeah. How old are they now? They're five. Jesus Christ. Christ! They're little. They're actually little for their age too. Mm. They are actually they are crazy smart. But they, Girls they, are crazy. Smart. They look a lot of times like the, boys are the idiots. Kids, the other kids in their in their class like look look so much older than them, and it's just like, they're just like, I was like that too, and apparently Lindsay was like that, we just like look a lot younger, uh, I'll tell you what, these little shits can, uh, can give them crap about it now, but when my girls hit, you know, 30s and 40s and stuff, there you go. they're still looking like they're in their 20s, fuck these other kids, fuck those other kids, I don't even know if they're giving them shit, but I'm just assuming, because every kid who's not my kid, unless any of you have kids, is, is, is shit, wait, every Harry Potter, like all of them, including Prisoner of Azkaban, the best movie in the series, I believe, every single one of them. My horse is named Horston McNeely. He's the best boy. He loves carrots. That's awesome. I think I named my horse Fuckboy, but I changed it recently. I changed it to Klaus. Fuck no, boy. you can just change the horse's name whenever you want if you go to the stable. Oh, my dad's calling me, everybody. Oh, that's fun. Do you have to answer it? No. <laughs> um, okay. He's not watching this. Let us talk about the history of rum. Let's first talk about the etymology of rum. Um, it is uh, many different theories for where the word rum came from in description of the liquor rum. There was, it was a British slang term for the best, as in I'm having a rum time. 
Uh, however, early rum was so harsh tasting that this is very unlikely that's where it came from. There's also the Latin word for sugar, which is saccharum. Mm -hmm. Of course, rum made from molasses, uh, uh, which has come from sugar cane. Uh, there's the Turkish name for Greeks, which is literally straight up rum. And the earliest rum spirits were distilled by Greek Christians in the Mediterranean. Uh, here's another one for you. Romani, the Romani word for rum means strong or potent. They think it might have been from the Romani word. There was also the most probable origin, a truncated version of rumbullion or rumbustion. Both words, rumbullion, both words uh, surfaced in England, uh, in English rather, about the same time as rum did. Uh, sl they were slang terms for tumult or uproar, and that was uh, because people getting hammered on rum were pretty tumultuous. And I do remember, I think some of my silliest evenings have been rum inspired, I think, like looking back on things. Um, large drinking glasses used by the Dutch seamen were known as rummers from the Dutch word romer, a drinking glass. So it also could have come from that. We don't know. I wonder what it's like to be a fucking etymologist. It's got to be a weird gig. Origins. Rum uh, has a few different kind of conceived ideas of different origins. Um, uh, the king of Cyprus, Peter I of Cyprus, brought rum with him as a gift to the other royal dignitaries at the Congress of Krakow. The Congress of Krakow was a meeting of the monarchs, and apparently they were trying to like hold the Turkish peat folks down, and so they were meeting to like essentially do that. Held in 1364. That's fucking old, bro. You better fucking find a pair of breasts and chase them down the street, because that is old. Another early rum-like drink is brum, produced by the Malay people. Brum dates back thousands of years. Marco Polo also recorded a 14th century account of, quote-unquote, a very good wine of sugar that was offered to him in the area that became modern-day Iran. So it might have actually originated slightly there. The first distillation of rum in the Caribbean took place on the sugarcane plantations there in the 17th century. Um, plantation slaves discovered that molasses, a byproduct of, sugar, of the sugar refining process, could be fermented into alcohol and suggested it originated on the island of Barbados. The drink then traveled from the Caribbean to colonial North America, and in 1664, the first rum distillery popped up in Staten Island. So uh, that's kind of amazing. And then, like, a year or so later, it was uh, Boston uh, had the next rum distillery, like, a couple years later. The drink then traveled, I uh, uh, already said that, Rome, uh, Rhode Island rum joined gold as an accepted currency in Europe for a little bit of time. So it was like that sought after, so sought after that during the American Revolutionary War, estimates had every man, woman, or child drinking an average of three imperial gallons, which is like more than a American ga U.S. gallon mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> of rum every year. Um, and the popularity of rum continued after the American Revolution because George Washington insisted on a barrel of Barbados rum at his 1789 inauguration. So it was even there uh, when the first president was elected. Rum's association with piracy, Lexi was curious about this. She was like, why is it, why is it so connected to pirates? Uh, Rum's association with piracy began with Brit British privateers. Now, what is a privateer? A privateer is a private warship for hire during wartime. So you could actually, you would just be like a battleship and just whatever army had the best price, they'd hire you up to fight like for, for them, essentially. Yeah. And, um, uh, uh, like the black water these, of... and these, exactly, right? <laughs> the and yeah. these, and these, well, yeah, it works. and these privateers <laughs> were trading rum, uh, uh, as a valuable commodity. And as some of the privateers would then become pirates, like after the war, um, uh, and buccaneers, their fondness for rum remained. The association between the two only being strengthened by literary works, such as Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island. Um, rum is produced by molasses, which is made from sugar cane. Many countries require rum to be aged for at least one year in wooden casks. And, and rums, sort of the different classifications of rums from country to country, greatly changes. It is so, they all have very specific, different, it's like nationality based. It's very weird and it's very complicated. Mm -hmm. I didn't write a lot of it down, but it, it's a I, lot of ins and outs of what makes rum rum all over the country before or all you, over the world rather before you move into the curacao actually sure. I have a couple things to say about rum because also I'm, I'm always curious 
I never looked it up. It's such an easy thing to do. What with computers and the internet. But there's a rum that they have like this, which has got an H in it. I think it's R U or R H U M or R U H. I can't remember. But I'm like wondering what the difference is there. But you're talking about like um, specific rums to specific areas in the American Virgin Islands on Cozumel, which is where we went for our, our honeymoon and actually went back for one of our anniversaries too for the girls. Uh, they make Cruzan rum there, if you ever had that. But um, yeah, and uh, we went on a rum, like like a tour of like the distillery there. And I thought, I was first like, yeah, this is fucking drink rum. It was like walk around. But it was actually really, really interesting to watch the whole process of what they... Uh, uh, of like just a distillery and just like what goes mm-hmm. like making it. So I recommend if anybody gets a chance to check out a distillery, it's actually more interesting than you would think. <laughs> and uh, also, yeah. and also go to Cosmo because it's it's fun as fuck. I think the only <laughs> d- distillery I've been to is a Scotch distillery. I would love Can to I go Cosmo? to a different. I meant one. to say Saint Croix. Oh, I got it. Cosmo is another is is in Mexico actually. No, no, so I'm I'm sorry. Um, the rum. You're grounded. Done. Uh, you can't done talk for the next five seconds. Done in my head. <laughs> I know I'm starting to get a little yeah. slippery of myself. Yeah. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, and the aging process for rum. Uh, the aging process determines the color. So oak casks make the dark rum. Stainless steel tanks make it light or even colorless. So that's mm-hmm. the difference there. When you have a light or a dark rum, it's really just the cask. Mm-hmm. Uh, now Curacao. Curacao, very short little bit on Curacao, and then we'll move on to other stuff. Oh, by the way, really quick, too bad we still don't use rum as a currency. Payday would be crazy. God, that would be amazing. We just got a case of rum Make on Friday. Make my job fucking worth it, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Washington and his splintery wooden ass teeth getting lit on rum in his inauguration. It really does. <laughs> it really does set like knowing that fact that he needed a thing of Barbadian, Barbadian rum at his inauguration. Like really just grounds that person, you know? Also, uh, Alexander Hamilton was <laughs> from St. Croix, which is what ah. I meant to be saying instead of uh, Cosmo. Uh, saying, and, uh, yeah, so maybe they had some, maybe he had a little, little rum hook up. Interesting. <laughs> so we're just piecing together all yeah. the There you go. The history. There you go. History is a mystery. Curacao. Uh, dark rum is where it is It is at. I think we're having dark rum, right? We are. We're actually having Gosling's, which is, as we discovered on the, uh, the Dark and Stormy episode, uh, episode, the only rum you're allowed to legally use in order to make a, a dark, dark and stormy. stormy. Yes, yes, yes. It has, yes. To, be has to be that specific kind. Uh, Curacao is made from the dried peels of La Raja. I'm bringing up Curacao because that is in the drink. Um... Uh, sorry guys, I'm distracted by my own Halloween plans. So much fun stuff to do, so little time. No worries. Are you leaving us? That's fun. Well, if now. you're leaving us, then um, have a good day. Washington was a drunk, and so was Grant. So was Johnson. Absolutely. Uh, so Curacao, it is made from the dried peels of the La Raja, a bitter orange native to Curacao, which is an island in the southern Caribbean Sea, north of the Venezuelan coast. The bitter flesh of the Laraja is completely unpalatable, but the peels are pleasantly aromatic. And this goes back to the 1500s in terms of the development of it into a liquor. And that is my fucking history ass history. I didn't know the curacao was fucking a thing. I'd, I'd heard of blue curacao, you know, you put like in like a, you know, like a tacky margarita or something. But mm-hmm. it's, uh, but dry curacao is actually, it's, it's not bad. I, 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 it was one of the, the rest things I wrote down when I was like coming up with like a recipe for this thing, and um, um, I things I read about it I was like, oh, that sounds kind of interesting. It's got kind of a citrusy, vanilla kind of uh, taste, but it adds a nice little interesting sweetness uh, to kind of offset the Campari in this drink. Uh huh. Speaking yeah. of tacky margaritas, I figured out what I'm dressed as. I'm not a cowboy. I'm like a ch- I'm a Chili's. You're Jesse from Toy Story 2. I'm a Chili's. What do you mean you're a Chili's? Jeez. Just a tacky, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a tacky family tacky restaurant? restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> Chili's or Jesse? Chili's yeah, or right. Jesse? Yeah. You Would give you me like a Tex Mix uh, appetizer mixer? I say we sing. Get everybody on. <laughs> oh, <something. laughs> what is Carly's? He's putting up a poll right now, everybody. Okay. Stand by. Uh, okay, yeah. Chili's. India um, says Curacao is, uh, is very uh, very orange tasting. Yeah, it is. This I don't know if, what kind you get. I definitely get some yeah, of that, but there's like a little bit of a. Um, uh, I, I taste. I feel like I get some vanilla notes in there as well. It's really it's it's not bad. 
Um, I couldn't drink a lot of it just like on its own, but it's really good. I think it's probably going to come in handy for certain cocktails I make in the future. Um, also, holding your makeup makes it look like you have a beard. Mm. Uh, have you thought about growing a beard? I think it would be awesome. Maybe I should try. People mention it every now and again. I don't think I have a good beard face. I, yeah, my, it grows in weird. Uh, we have, uh, I don't know what it is about the McNeely family, we have weird beard stuff. We got weird beards. I had a beard this time mm -hmm. last year. I was, uh... Um, Didn't quite work. A Woods Chili's. Um, it's Tex-Mex restaurant that's in practically every single shop. Oh, that's mall. right, you're in the UK, yeah, right? you can find saying. across America. I knew that. Um, it's garbage food, but you, at some point you end up going they to don't Chili's. Yeah, Especially, it's, like, high school. Think of like a ch yeah, like I, I'm sure. Like th what's a garden. chain there? Actually, Blue Vegetable, question. What's a chain there that everybody's kind of like, oh, you know, it's like. Like a family. Thing it's an incredible that everybody goes to, but like a you kind of make fun of it anyway. Bennigan's, I think those are gone now. Yeah, I think those are gone. But there was like, there was uh, Outback Bennigan's, Steakhouse. Outback Steakhouse. There's... There was, um, um, there was, the there was uh, Olive Garden, Sorry, definitely. You know what? We still go to Olive Garden here. I mean, there's nothing um, wrong with some Red candy Lobster. Food sometimes. Like, um, mm -hmm. I'll do it. I remember Jeff's beard. says Gub Skin. I dream about it every skin. night. Well, I'll tell you what. Next next year, I'm gonna give it a year break, but then I'll uh, I'll come back next year and I'll get another fucking whole hog in that. See, so we got the results are in, and Chili's has taken the lead. Chili's has taken the lead. I look like a Chili's. Uh, you can vote right here in the straw poll I for what chips. Carly's costume is. I can throw them at you. Is it Chili's? <laughs> Or is it Toy Story 2 Jesse? I go with Toy Story 2 Jesse, by the way. I fucking forgot to vote. It Boom! It is good garbage. I got no problem with some cheap nachos. You know, I gotta say, it has really gone down in quality lately, though. I mean, I haven't been It first. is really I'm at the last... Uh, not Olive Garden. Uh, I think Olive Garden still is oh. hitting, hitting the, the, the good stuff, but I swear to God, Chili's, every time I go, it gets worse and worse. Mm -hmm. It's oh, very Gordon's, unfortunate. I, I used to love salsa. going to Chili's. Yeah, here you go. Oh, Carly, yeah. can I, I used to love Benigan's spicy water salsa to go. <laughs> yes, yes, <exactly. laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, uh, our first karaoke request, Money Money by Billy Idol. Here are the incentives, by the way. I feel like this way. is you guys. Honestly. I don't know, man. I don't even remember. You got the... the I can't even man. remember the damn... Uh, I'll have to... It'll have to I'll, click I'll, in. I'll, I'll, I'll harmonize Applebee's is but terrible. I, but I think... Uh, I think we gotta go Carly on Cole. I mean, I'm basing oh, no, this off of the Applebee's and Queens, but uh, so, Applebee's is awful. I got you. So anyways, I just posted the incentives again. If you'd like to donate for another karaoke song, there is the link. We would love to sing more oh, than just one right now. Too. Dance Ops as well, 25 bucks. You name the song for us to lip, or it's lip syncs, but yes, you name the song. It's the same as Dance Off, pretty much, except for yeah. you lip sync it. I'd like, I think I like lip sync better than Dance Ops. Lip sync? Um, maybe. I don't know. It, 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 it's always like kind of how I feel each I'll week. tell you what, they donate, they get to choose whether it's a lip sync or You get to choose whether that. it's a lip sync yeah. or a dance off. $25 for that or $10 any song you want us to sing. We will <laughs> sing as long as there's a karaoke version of it on YouTube. All right. Let's rock. You ready for this? Yeah. Let me turn up the, oh, the sound is up. Well, this, is, this just reminds me of sporting events. Yeah. This she comes and I say, morning, morning. Oh, okay. I know this stupid fucking song. Shoot him down, turn around, come on, money. What does that even mean? Is money the name of the girl? Hey, she's giving me lots of love and I feel all right now. Darling, she's got a tough, tough tune and I feel all right. Hey, I feel all right. I say, yeah. 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 Darling, make me feel so good, so good, so good, so fine, so fine, it's all mine. Well, I feel alright. I say yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't realize this was this. The alimony, yeah. Well, you could shake it, money, money. Ooh. You wanna keep back? Ooh, ooh. Are you shotgun dead? And I come on, money. Don't you stop cooking, cause I feel alright now. Never knew the lyrics of this song. Hey, no, don't, don't stop, stop now. Come on, money. Come on, money. 
Settle on a name for the puppy, Kuja. Gotta have some FF11 love. That's beautiful. Houston. <laughs> like a pony, ladies and gentlemen. This changes my whole face. I was looking at myself in the can. This this weird like little mustache. It's like I look particularly creepy with a mustache. Mmm. I think it's fun mm. creepy. It's a good Halloween. Oh no, it's fun Halloween. It's fun creepy, but yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much <laughs> for whoever donated for that. By the way, that? here are the. Give him a shout out. Yeah, we did all right. Here are the incentives. Um, boom. Here are the incentives. If you'd like to donate four. Everyone look at your hands. What? Donate. Know, that's creepy. Holden's getting married soon. <laughs> I'm getting married soon. I I'm desperately hope, need the money. We're I'm, all broke. Carly's I'm, fucking stupid, bro. I'm buying a ton of liquor, but this fucking thing gets yeah, you people drunk. <laughs> Um, anybody um, wants to donate ten dollars, we will sing a song. Twenty five dollars, we will lip sync competition. You can vote on it. And by the way, Chili's wins. But we I do disagree. We do enjoy enjoy just uh, hanging out with you as well. Absolutely, so thank please. You for thank here. you so much for hanging out with us. All the fun that we're having. All right, there's eighty six thumbs up and twelve thumbs down for Billy Idol. <laughs> That's almost that's exactly a hundred, right? Yeah, that's ninety-eight. Yeah. We got, all right. Well, I'll, I'll give it. A, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. So there you go. Eighty-seven. One more like, and we'll have a uh, hundred total Cara votes, Fun. which for some reason I care Cara about. Fun. Yeah, I would like to meet Cara Fun. Talk to Cara Fun and see if they. I hope her name Safety is Cara. Dance? Oh my God! Yeah, Somebody put. Uh, I think we did it one time. We we did did one time. I, love Wait, it. I That sounds right, but I, yeah, I'll do the shit out of it. Yeah, I guess I thought it was right. Right about, dude, I had no idea that was Billy Idol. I had no idea any of the lyrics to that song. I've only heard that in basketball arenas. Like, straight up. 
I've never heard that song outside. And it reminds me, like, Billy Idol, he's probably got to be doing all right. Is that, wait, yeah, I think he is, actually. And is, was that the original, though? Did somebody do Money Money before Billy Idol? I feel like it's he, it's a remake. I could Maybe. be wrong, but I think somebody did Money Money before Billy Idol, but I might, I very well could be wrong. If anybody knows, let us know. Um, Cowgirl pinup. Oh, right. Look at your hands was from Safety Dance. Everybody, Everybody look at your hands. hands, which was like the weirdest shit. Kelly's serving yeah. cowboy, cowgirl pinup, and I love it. I was confused about the temperature. Put the guns up, Carly. Put you the stayed guns with up. us, Lone Star Kate. Okay, I thought you were leaving when you said earlier that you were yeah, thinking about just, Halloween. Yeah, she's just, you know, she's doing shit. She's everybody look at your hands. What are you doing yeah, for uh, Halloween? What is, you know, what is everybody doing for Halloween? Hasn't everybody done what they're going to do for like, Halloween? Talking at Lone Star Kate. Are you working? Some people are actually <laughs> going to do things tomorrow. Some people are going to do things this weekend. There's a Halloween party that I'm, I'm invited to this weekend. That I I I think I'm obligated to go to, even though it's in New Jersey. We got our show changed around, which is fucking badass. We yeah, so we already yeah time. I did talk about it. Chili earlier. cook off at work tomorrow, something I guess. I'm so happy that worked out. India, yeah, I'm yeah. drinking tomorrow. You know what? I'm so happy. I will be drinking too tomorrow. Uh, party. As soon as the, gr- the the girls are in bed, I know I'll be drinking as well, India. So I will I'll raise one to you and I'll say, hey, I'm drinking with with India metaphorically. Not Ooh, metaphorically. Chili uh, cook off at work tomorrow. Handing yeah. out bags of candy to children in my driveway. I feel like I should grab some candy just in case anyone pops by. There's a couple, like, blocks, like, in our nearby neighborhood. We, ne- we never get anybody because there's a couple blocks, like, nearby where people just, everybody in the pl- on the whole block, it's like there's, like, an unwritten contract between them. They go fucking ape shit. Right. And they just, like, and, and they, they're all decorated. They're wearing costumes, and it's, like, it's so fun. And there's always some asshole handing out pencils or something like that or, you know, or some kind of, like, boring thing you know like that, that there's always somebody who's gonna ruin it like it, usually like in a little offshoot street am i right am yeah. i the one yeah that's awesome wait was oh moved, right? yes it moved to our wicked lady she knows she was trying to help us find a new venue i was right you were so there tommy, you go. tommy james and the and the chandrells moaning when it was originally a 1968 ah. single by american pop band to- thank you robo k thanks i i thought i was I right i guess i did know that what's up lauren and how you doing i was I'm going as a person that has work the next day. Ooh, spooky. Um, doing something to your girlfriends. You're gonna do hocus pocus like Carly, Lexi, and Marie. Because that was fun. Lexi's coming to the show. Yes, I think I she will now be coming to the show, which coming. is cool. I don't think so, but wait, is Lexi coming? She might. I think she might stop by. Yeah. Well, regardless, I'm still being a witch. I'm not, I'm not gonna be chillies. But I'm glad someone like succeeds. Yeah, for too sure. Much. I can't believe, yeah, I can't believe uh, Our Wicked Lady, which is a very cool venue in Bushwick, so yeah, very exciting that's, stuff. That's actually a place I go. I love to go. And Uh-oh, the fact I, that it moved there is badass. I realize we started a little bit late tonight. We just hit the one hour mark, and I'm already a little drunk, so. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Lindsay hasn't even come yet uh, in yet, so I was <laughs> like, because she, she'll come in usually after the girls are down, and, uh, um, and I was like, Lindsay hasn't been here yet. I was like, oh, I'm fucking, I'm too drunk for this early in the evening, so. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I have nowhere to go candy. with that other than just like, holy shit, these are good. I end up buying candy for trick or treaters. No kids will climb the hill to get to my house, so I end up eating all the candy. Awesome. If I was going to work tomorrow, I'd be able to dress up, but I'm too lazy to be ultra fab and deal with assholes. Uh, I mean, our wonderful customer base. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hey guys, that was a warm welcome. I'm doing wonderfully. Um, hey, something I guess. How's it going, friend? I've never been stoked. It, uh, yeah, I don't think I've been either. So I'm I'm kind of stoked myself uh, for that. And that should be fucking awesome. Yeah, I, the way you read that, I thought she said, I've never been stoked. I've never been stoked for anything first, and I got really sad for a second. Never but stoked. It turns fire. out that. Uh... Sorry, I'm trying to catch up with everybody. I think I'm caught up with everybody. I gotta slow down a little bit. I'm already. Uh... I already don't give a shit about my terrible job right now. So that means, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> it's I not know, even right? nine o'clock, and I'm already like, fuck it. Things we are, are going to yeah. rock this cocktails. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us tonight. Here are the incentives. I am so fucking ready to sing some more songs because that was fantastic. Life is nice. I am. I lost my job, so I'm not getting dressed up or anything. Or any. Oh, no, I'm sorry you lost your job. Spin. But we I did hope, not say anything. Yeah, I hope. Uh, <laughs> I hope it was bullshit and you hated it and you wanted it anyway. But I. <laughs> oh no, I've most definitely been stoked. Preach, Jeff. One time I t- uh, thought I was stoked, but it turned out 
to just be a tumor. Oh my goodness. I've been busy writing trivia questions and I'm absolutely consumed with it. Anyone else ever tried their hand at trivia writing? I have not. I have a hard enough time just pulling the question for the show. One thing to make make you happy, Jeff. 50 people. Thank you so Holy much for crap. joining us. And can I hear the blues are like calling? The Toss salads and scrambled eggs. They're calling again. Dr. Niles Crane, I fucking love you, man. And I want to make love to you, dude, but I can't because I'm straight now. and I have a fiance. I if she could watch though, maybe we could uh, arrange something. I told Holden a couple of weeks ago when we did this that that I was like I, I the, the the count of how many people are in there always made me nervous because I was like if I suddenly if something went down I was like oh what do we do, and uh, just because of my natural paranoia and uh, so he like hides it normally but I feel like we've been like higher than usual even like yeah era, but it's, it's um, I know I, I'm gonna stop hiding because uh, we have a great number of people watching yeah. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, oh, Lone Star K, by the way, I haven't thought about uh, your husband's uh, brisket. And that's not a euphemism. I mean, his actual. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we the, the get it. yeah, that sounds weird. But the um, thing is, yeah, we need to I'm work it out. It. Yeah. I want to go. Um, I want to get your husband's brisket. Uh, I have to make my own Jeff merch. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to. Uh, we're, we are still planning on doing my the. Um, dog, but I love it. For any of you who didn't hear this before, we are still planning on doing uh, like a little cocktails booklet and uh, calendar. Like around the holidays. Yeah, season. we're working on so, that, um, and that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, we'll have I'm a like real cocktails. Book. Insane busy right now, so I haven't had a lot of free time. But I'm, I am going to get to that. I mean, I've got most of the materials anyway. I just had to compile it. We have to like get it printed and everything. But we're going to put those together, and so probably look for late November, early December. We're going to have some uh, cocktails merch. Lance Arcade would maybe watch me get it on with Doctor Niles Crane for money. Uh, Siddle Frank, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Siddle Frank, when is Wizard Boozer going to do some touring? We got to do a live show here first, and then we got to take it on the goddamn road. You know what I mean? So, uh, Jeff, also, when's... shout outs to uh, who was excited about seeing uh, oh, Robokey going to see uh, Tenacious D in Brooklyn on Saturday, which is fucking rad. Oh, so, wow. that sounds awesome. That's cool. I, I bet they're, I mean, I'd love to see them in a smaller venue. I saw them, like, it was the year like their movie came out, and like everything was like Tenacious D. Uh, and then their movie came out, and they kind of <laughs> nosedived a little bit. But it was, uh, uh, but they did like a, this big live concert at uh, at Madison Square Garden, and I saw it. And it was actually it was really cool. That's but awesome. I wanted, I was like, I, I I couldn't help thinking they seem like the kind of band who'd like be better, like in a uh, just like you'd enjoy it more just in a smaller Slightly venue where they're just going a little crazy. They did now not that they did anything wrong. They they actually they had a great. They kind of like made it for the venue. They had like sketches and stuff, and it was like really big. And uh, yeah, they had like. Like a whole story happening or anything, but I'll bet they're awesome. So good for you. Um, what was I gonna say? Should we? Nice room Let's really, I'm so happy to see all these people. Jay Prippy. Jay Prippy. Jay Prippy. Yeah, dude. Uh, let's. Can we make another? Can we do another full making of it on the table? Do you think we could do that, Jeff? Would that be impossible? Yes, I will. I, that will I'm be gonna, impossible. I'm gonna, no, it, it's be fine. I'm just. I was just like. I, and then I, you can nurse it. And I'm gonna you will I, nurse it. I won't is the thing, but you know what? <laughs> Let's give the people what Let's they want. The Let's give the people what they want. All right. Fuck In that. the meantime, <laughs> we're gonna show you. I call myself daddy. <laughs> Let's get daddy all <laughs> fucked up. I love it. I didn't even mean to, but I'm it is time for us to sing songs, guys. Five dollars for a toast for you. Ten dollars for karaoke. Any song you want. Twenty-five dollars, and Jeff and I will have a lip sync competition. And again, that is any song you want. So there you go. Those are the incentives. Um, please, I would love to do a block of karaoke songs until we get that going on. We're gonna show you how to make the red rum and enjoy the red rum once again. Do you wanna uh, uh, put the bottles out here? Should I help you with that? Uh, yeah. I'll, you I'll got just, it? Uh, yeah, I got it. All right, cool. We're going to move over to the craft setup so that we can get this going. You can going. center them while I get my other stuff. Uh, the crafting of the cocktails. We have these ingredients that you see in the bottom right. Um, we have the rum. Is this the rum? Yes, the Gosling's rum right here. We've got uh, cherry liqueur right here. We've got uh, the dry curacao right here. And... The Campari. These are the four ingredients. Uninterrupted says, Carly, you look amazing tonight. She looks like Jesse from hey, Toy Story 2. Guys. Okay, I gotta go for real loaded, now. And it's supposed to be chilies. Eating steak and watching Halloween with the husband. See you later. See you tomorrow. Have a good one, Lance. Okay, see you tomorrow. I did something I probably shouldn't do, actually, because sometimes when there's, like, more... Because I knew Carly was going to be here, and uh, I knew Lexi was going to be here as well, and so I bought a whole other bottle of rum, too. Oh, so, wow. Um, Holy yeah, shit. We're not, we're, we're not running out we're of this. We're not running shit, out of this so. whatsoever. We just have a water break. We'll just drink a glass of water. Okay. Well, <laughs> good, 
There's that. We could do that. But well, this is great because I think, honestly, oh, let me do this in person. She looks like Cholula sauce. Yes, you do look like Cholula sauce. You're the Cholula sauce girl. Oh, with a little bit of that thing, uh, that 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 big that that thing in uh, Las Vegas. That yeah. Goes like this. Yeah. So, the 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 the, the female version. You know what? I didn't even know we were wearing costumes today. I just got lucky. Jeff has his Jack eyebrows on fleek in those pictures. By the way, uh, impressive oh Jack that Nicholson eyebrows. Party was Thank you. So much fun. I had a great time. Yeah, we had. It was we great. Had I wish all of you and Shaq could have been there. It was actually pretty. Uh, I got scared uh, by the Halloween. Oh, uh, my friend. Uh, yeah, a friend of mine, this guy Ruby. He does. He actually is like. Now that was actually for him. What do you mean? Like, I feel like he's yeah. Oh yeah. He, he's actually like, that was like great. a professional cosplayer. Oh awesome. Yeah, look at but Wait, yeah. The music was awesome. He was walking around. Yeah, he, my friend was dressed. We as had Michael a dude Myers. walking around just being Michael Myers, like first, straight up, like, not fucking off, letting go of it. It was great. And then eventually, I was like, okay, now I'm gonna. Get he went a little <laughs> too far with it, but then, but then it, it was another, well, no, no, he didn't. Well, he he would go on just for too long, and then eventually he would like take the mask off. But he'd do that, and he had a little soundtrack going, so their their Halloween music was playing, and. It was amazing, but it was, it was like one of those things, you know, when something is like really is like funny. Have a good one, India. And they keep doing. It. Oh, bye, India. Um, um, really funny. I'll be drinking with you in spirit like, tomorrow, India. There you go. The uh, but the um, uh, fuck, I don't know what I was saying. Doesn't matter. Oh, no, so, he just, he stuck to oh no no he stuck it. Yeah, he, he had a little soundtrack touch. going in his uh, in his uh, and he um, was just, had had like all the movement down right and everything. But eventually, uh, I got drunk enough to just get a little. Scared. Yeah, well then, then I mean, he would do it, but it was like one of those things where like where like something's really funny, and then it keeps going. And you're like, okay, it's not funny anymore, but then it goes so long that it becomes even funnier. Oh, yeah. It's like he was kind of doing that. It's like yeah. it was like it was a little scary. It's like, okay, dude, take the mask off. Like, let's <laughs> let's hang out and drink. And then it was like, okay, it's actually kind of gotten creepy again now. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but he's he's a really cool guy. But um, uh, I appreciate. I'm hoping to convince him to come in on on perfect. chat on one of these things. But yeah, he he actually does like cosplay. All over the place, and he—that—that that was like, like slumming it for him, actually. I'm looking like so dead, Lauren awesome interrupted. Um, um, so yeah, is this the Campari? Yes, it is. Sorry. Step two, yet. one half part Campari, doing, and step one, one, by the way, part. was um, step one was one half one and a half parts rum, one half part Campari. Next up, we've got step three, <laughs> one half part cherry liqueur, one half part cherry liqueur. Uh, and again, he's making, what are you making, three parts? Did Lexi ever get her drink, by the way? She did, I think. Great. Yeah, she knew it was there. Um, so I'm doing uh, one and a half shots of this for the three of us. There you go. Uh, there we go. This is one of those drinks I feel like you can kind of like mix with the, uh, mess with the um, proportions a little bit if you want. If like if you're not really into Campari or something or like the bitterness, you can add a little bit less of that or whatever. So, some of these recipes you can be a little more uh, experimental with. Step four, one quarter part Curacao. So three quarters part Curacao. So yes, three quarters. All right. Uh, and then uh, what do we move on to? We move on to step five. Stir with ice and pour. Stir with ice and pour. We were doing a cheap Halloween a little bit this year because uh, all I had to do was buy the, um, the sweater, which is actually also... I. Turns out doubles really well as a Mr. Rogers sweater, oh, and nice. um, which uh, if I go to my friend's, uh, actually that guy who was Michael Myers, like, oh, yeah. if I go to his party this weekend, um, I'll be uh, probably, I might repurpose the costume into Mr. Rogers. Oh my God, is he yeah. doing, you have a Halloween costume or Halloween party this weekend coming up? Halloween yeah, the never guy, the ends guy, when it's on a Wednesday. The guy who it played, never exactly, ends. yeah, the guy who played uh, Michael Myers actually, yeah, uh, my friend Ruby. Oh, gotcha. having one This weekend in New Jersey. And, yeah. Come drink with us forever and ever and ever. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There you go. Ever. That is such a great. I love it, man. Great, great. This might be my favorite. This is probably definitely my favorite of the, of all of the pictures you've done. I have such a big love for The Shining, oh and you crushed it. It is so good. They were really fun. We actually did them the night of the Halloween party since I was dressed up as it anyway, and the girls were wearing that. We were like, uh, I was like, about a half hour before the party, I was like, can you do something? I just love that they put on those angry, scary faces. Yeah. They actually, I would show the video if I could. It wouldn't show up on the camera, I'm sure. But the, uh, but I, uh, 
we actually have a little video of them saying, Come play with us. That's so awesome. They are very, very theatrical. They, they, they love doing shit like that. So they, uh, they what did you were, tell your really into like, Eleanor the Horus, what did you tell your girls that their costume was supposed to be? We told them it was from a movie, but uh, we said it was a movie and it was a little scary, so they couldn't watch it. They understand that. Yeah. They got me explaining what Predator was to them last night. Yeah. I don't even remember what the story was started up. We, we were having, they were having dinner, and I was like answering a text on my phone or something, and I don't remember even how it came up because I was just telling Lindsay. It's like I think I was telling the girls about Predator earlier. I was uh, not interesting. That's okay, creepy. but uh, yeah. So the first ghost. That's creepy. We thing just had that. something move and slam behind us. But uh, All right. well, let's cheers. I am phased. Bing bong, bing bong, ring. Jeff, Jeff, you sound like an awesome dad. Something oh, I guess. Yeah. Well, I was, yeah, I was. I mean, I was, I was actually telling them about prayer because I was, I ended up showing them like a picture on my phone and stuff, and um, okay. it was like, what, 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 what he look? Not like where he's like, you know, ripping somebody's spine yeah. out or anything, you know. But it was like, but I had a, um, uh, but yeah, I still, I, I. Been searching my memory, trying to figure out why we were even talking about it. But I was trying to That's saying, and they were like, "Can we, we, can we watch it?" And I'm like, "No, you can't see it. It's it's too scary. And it's yeah, too, there's too many things that you wouldn't like to happen in it." Right, like, like my, when it, you know what it is? It's the moment when it's like they they come upon the bodies and they're all like opened up and <laughs> fucked up or whatever. Yeah, and hanging upside down. Yeah, that that might be a little rough yeah. for a yeah. five year old. And my daughter Emily said, "Well, yeah, yeah, when we're seven, we can watch it." And I was <laughs> like, "When you're seventeen, you yeah. can watch it." And she went, "Okay." Yes. Fifteen. So yeah, it's so. Uh, yeah, she's. Years. But she was like, okay, seventeen. They that's can watch right. the TV. They can watch the TV version when they're fourteen. They can watch yeah. the made-for-TV version. I think I watched it super young, but it was the made-for-TV one, so you didn't have all the crazy. Yeah, I probably saw it when I was like thirteen or fourteen or something, and I like, I was like, yeah, dude, yeah, awesome. Yeah, but. Yeah, I saw Jaws at seven. Made made me who I am today. I know, right? That's how I. Got I thought maybe you uh, told them. Uh, they were the princess from Frozen. Yeah. Oh, Elsa. Yeah, Eleanor the Horror. Hey, Eleanor the Horror. Have you been? In, I'm sorry. If I didn't notice you were in here until just now. So, uh, hello. Which, I yeah, know, I think yeah, that's so. hilarious. You, you um, totally. But Jeff's cool dad like that. He's not just going to sit around and, you know. No, my girls get to know what the predator is. I almost, I remember actually being on a tear and I was like, I kind of almost want to show them a picture of the alien now. But, mm. uh, but. Well, that's what happens when I end up in these conversations. They're like, but why? But what's that? But what HR Geiger mean? might be a little too much. Yeah, before you know it, you're just, you've gone down this conversation spiral of like, why are we, how do we talk about this? This is not, Yeah. Good. but I try to find a way around it to give it a genuine answer without, well, they were, they were, fun game. exactly. I mean, actually you do have to really kind of like think it because they were then, because then I, I already brought it up and they're like asking me like, well, what does he do? It's like, is, he's, he's a monster. And it was like, yeah, I was like, he, he, you know what hunting is? Like, yeah, he, he hunts things, but he hunts like people. <laughs> and they're like, so you'd hunt us? And like, no, he wouldn't hurt you. He wouldn't hurt a little kid like that. You need to be armed. You need to be dangerous. You need to be somebody who's got a big, big, you know. Oh, he would uh, fuck those kids up. Are something, you kidding you know, like, me? He no, would... he didn't because remember it, Predator 2? Uh, he found out that there was a woman who was pregnant. Uh, yeah, and he oh, did he, he didn't didn't kill her. Kill her? Yeah, and so, uh, oh, that's, yeah. Spoilers, that's Predator 2. <laughs> no, because because no, he only because remember there was another part uh, where Arnold Schwarzenegger knocks the gun out of the woman's. He's, he's like uh, he's like he's like no, get your gun, the gun, and he said because you know he wouldn't kill you because there was no sport in it. Ah. Like that. You, you need to be dangerous you have for to a be predator. Dangerous. I don't know. What they, I haven't seen any of the new movies. I saw That's like cool. I saw like the first like Alien vs Predator was bullshit. I I wish that it never happened, but um, there you go. Predator has mad respect. I haven't seen the new ones, but the thing is, but I saw the first Predator. Uh, saw the second Predator, which is like, eh. but um, you know, it's a fine line because I do agree with a lot of the folks in chat and who are saying with us here that we, I mean, if you watch scary movies a little on the young side, I do think it made me who I am. Like I'm, I was, I'm grateful as an adult that my parents put a lot of faith in me. What was the? What did you? We the girls do pretty see? scary things. The downside though was definitely that I did get scared. I, you know, was, I did have trouble falling asleep at night because I was scared of, you know, monsters. <laughs> Jeff was a predator. Which was, what did you see? It, so uh, this is what I'm loving in chat right now is we have everybody's Someone like. Someone mentioned Critters. Critters made me afraid critters of the Critters was scary. Because mm -hmm. there was one that came out of toilet. Yeah. That's what I remember. That's pretty much the only thing I remember. I saw, everybody goes tremors, through their scared of the toilet phase, tremors right? Tremors scared me. 
Uh huh. Tremors is great. Tremors is reggae. Um. So then I was scared of the ground, which is everywhere. Unicorns um, for all. Cheers. Predator made me a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I do remember it scaring me, but not in a way like that I'm scared of clowns, but more like I'm scared of psychos. Ah. You know, in general, like people talking to you on the. Man of Bonanza, I was scared of all bodies of water until at least 12 or 13. Right? I didn't start getting creeped out by sharks until I was an adult. Mm. And that's just because I read the news. Yeah, I used to start getting freaked out. Even swimming in pools, I would start to imagine what if a giant sea monster was in this pool with me right now, and I would get uh, fr I would freak myself out uh, with that sort of stuff. I went to an alien convention when I was in seventh grade. How old are you then? Seventh grade, you're or what? Or Not even. Are you thirteen in seventh grade? You're like Six, 12, 12, 10, 13? 11, twelve, thirteen. So when I was twelve, I went to an alien convention. You're right, by the way. Boop. Friend Brandy. Blue Vigil, yeah, Predator's not really a scary, mo scary movie. Uh, it, it is, co it is cool, but the thing is, obviously, way too violent for five-year-olds. So uh, yeah, I, I, I won't be showing that for a while. Some of the, the violence, yeah. Uh, I was really scared of Beetlejuice when I was little, but like watched the movie with my brother and would convince myself Beetlejuice was coming for me. I'll How many people that. did Large Marge? Freak the oh, fuck everybody, out come on. Time. Large, yeah, so large Marge is in chat if you were scared yeah. of Large Marge's again. You know what actually scared me it worse? It like this. You know yeah. what actually freaked me out more than Large Marge was the uh, uh, chain covered laughing clown for some reason. that I've never been afraid of clowns before or since. There's a couple parts in that movie, yeah. But, but the clown with the chains laughing, and I, for some reason I just could not stand that yeah. moment. My girls love, like, and I, I, Pee Wee's Playhouse is on Netflix, yeah, right. so we've watched that, and they're like into it now. They like, they're they think it's great, but I was awesome. like, I can't show them Pee-wee's Playhouse yet because Marge Marge. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I'm like that's going to fuck their childhood uh, yeah, if I do that. Adventure. They're when way too young. to San Antonio when I was in middle school, the first thing I thought of was the fact that the Alamo was there, and I was going to get to <laughs> Fuck that Alamo. ghost. The, the, the Alamo doesn't have a basement for anybody who's curious. <laughs> um, yeah. It's incredibly different, but that was Jan Hooks right told around us. that spooky scene, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The first film that genuinely scared me was Misery, because it could happen. I was 13, 14 when I first watched it. Yeah, that was creepy. She's pretty scary. You know, I think She's one of the first scary. movies that I remember, like, 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 just, like, that that I couldn't sleep for, like, a long time after. I'm sure there was, a, there's probably something from my childhood. Oh, and there is. That's another, another story. But what I was, the movie I was going to say was actually the old, like, 1960s movie, The Haunting. That the yes. Haunting of Hill House is still like a little bit like like based on. I mean, they're they're very different stories. There's some of the character names are the same. That's pretty much about it. I've never read the Shirley Jackson books. I don't I don't know what, you know, how much of it is true uh, to the the actual source material. But the old 1960s uh, like like black and white, The Haunting, not the terrible remake with like Liam Neeson and Owen Wilson, but but the uh, um, old one that I think probably holds up actually as a pretty solid. Like old school, like ghost story too, and I think uh, if anybody who's a fan of that kind of thing, you should check it out. What are we laughing at? I mean, me? At the basement. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Just that other All right. Kids were like the only thing I know about San Antonio is that there's a basement in the Alamo. And we could use it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, well, I think we might move on to questions at this point, uh, as we are about an hour and a half out from, uh, we're about halfway through the stream. bring it down now, it's, it's numbers down now. It's, it's gone, gone down, sad, so. so I'll get, I'll get rid yeah. of it. Um, it only uh, gets high when we're not watching it. Here are the incentives right here. Cocktails incentives, $5 for a toast for you, $10 for karaoke, and $25 for the lip sync competition. I would love to get a karaoke block going. If you have any song you want us to sing, we will gladly sing it for you. In the meantime, I have a spooky wig of questions over here. Let me pull it out. A spooky wig of questions. No, no, I'm just, uh, I just thought it would be creepy to put it in a wig this time. How creepy is that? That is scary, right? Why don't people do that? And these are all spooky questions. So we're going to have some fun right now. Um, here we go. Uh, our first question of the night, and chat, please, we want you to answer as well. Do you think death by drowning or death by electrocution would be more painful? Do you think death by drowning or death by electrocution? I guess it's kind of like, what would you choose, essentially? Let's go around. I think I would choose electrocution. I've heard drowning is incredibly uh, painful, and I think drowning would be terrifying. I think drowning would be scary. I would choose drowning 
But the reason why is I think once I realized I was going to drown, I could maybe get a little zen about it and just be like, well. I don't think, I think it it's goes. pure no. panic. Well, I'm relating to the moment where I almost drowned once when I was a kid. And uh, I did, I got a, a little bit of hopelessness where I was just like, well, this is it. Oh. It's all done. And I just kind of came to peace with it, which I was seven. So like, look at me for feeling like seven is good enough. But uh, yeah, electrocution, you gotta I, get I, enough life I seven. think it right. hurts real bad. I was, I, I'm, well, I'm answering the same as you for the exact same reasons. Yes. Yeah. I would much rather be electrocuted because I figure that... That would just happen. It would just yeah. It's happen. like I feel like it would stop my heart like quick quickly. It's like whereas drowning, I feel like it's like a lonely, terrifying like like just oh God, does that psychologically torture. Does that make me sick? Spirit. Where no. like I just life is nice says you I can't be zen when your body is involuntarily gasping for air. True. I think that's true. Maybe you are just more at peace with the no, world. But I, 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 <laughs> no, but no, I just had a, a kind of a sick thought where I, I was just hardest. like I would rather draw it out a little bit. Um, is that true, though? Uh, also, a uh, real quick side note from Jen Gore. Another thing that actually gave me nightmares was Judge Doom from Roger Rabbit. And he sounded just yes. like yes. Oh, this! Yes. That was awesome. Then, it had to be like almost a kid's movie, but there were like two moments that were terrifying. That was the best growing up. So scary. Drowning the is my preferred is method of me dying in this electric, scenario. Electric. I've done research, and apparently drowning releases endorphins, and you can't feel any pain, and in fact, it gives a, an almost painkiller effect. Interesting. You get a wicked hard-on. I think, yeah, and you get a wicked hard-on, and you start masturbating, and all of a sudden, you just die. Being buried alive is definitely I, scary. This, you know, that, that yeah, almost, like, I almost kind of believe that maybe that could be correct, because... Uh, I mean, well, I mean, who do we know? I mean, obviously, if somebody who have drowned, who have died by drowning or electrocution, are not able to tell us like right. what the experience was like. But the thing is, but because of the whole like choking thing, you know, like like the, 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 the apparently like um, you know like choking yourself, you know, or whatever. Like that guy from uh, In Excess who like died. Like, way? The people, yeah, where, where it's like there's a way you can like hang yourself, like but not really hang yourself, and apparently it gets you. Auto erotic situation. Yes, that's what I was going with. Yeah. Um, so I was wondering if, if, I'm wondering if, if drowning is like a similar thing. Let me see if we have haunted house music. I had a, uh, an experience once with a lady many, many years ago who, yeah, wanted me to choke her. Choke her, and I really, really did not feel comfortable. With Just that. couldn't deal with it. No. I think people request yeah. that for different. That reasons. was a. That was a. This is many years ago, but uh, sure, sure. yeah, but it was um, yeah, we were, we just kind of like hooked up, and it was like one of my I think my only like one night stand ever, and, and she yeah, and she right off went right into eight. that, and I was like, oh, oh this is why I don't do this. Boy. Well, that and because you yeah, have no opportunity, but uh, you know. <laughs> there was there was uh. uh but yes, yeah, so the little, little, little young scared Jeffrey was was trying to figure out a way. How do I not choke this woman? The best way to die is freezing to death because Sorry. all the pain receptors are going to go that. first, and you just go to sleep. It's Halloween. She's a man, baby. John Denver, oh, country road, hey. take me home. Let's do it. Oh my god, I think that might be the best one we've ever done. Um, I would love to get a karaoke block going. Thank you, Blue Vitriol, for the donation. That one will be for you, Blue that Vitriol. That one will be for you in just a little bit. We're going to do a couple more questions and hopefully get a couple more donations for some karaoke so we can do a few kind of all together in a row. Just yet. Just of course, let's hang out on these I questions. I think there's a reason we had the electric chair for executions instead of the drowning tank. I don't know. That's because true. Because I think that death penalty enthusiasts might like to see a little bit of torture. I'll bet uh, electrocution is faster, though. Definitely. I'm the shot. I but think it'd be... The shot is supposed to be awesome. The shot is supposed to be terrible. I think what would be fun is if someone slowly ate me to death. No, we're talking about... Cut off little zombies, tiny pieces. Like, it's zombies and everything is such a terrible thing. Seriously, that's, like, one of the things... Actually, one of the yeah. earliest... Speaking of, like, horror movies that freak you out. Yeah. The first time I ever saw... Um, like a zombie movie. This the concept alone freaked me out for many years. But then, weirdly, I went right into Day of the Dead, and ah. uh, you know, and um, and there's just something about this the whole concept of that. And that was obviously the the goriest of them all. I think, yeah. Too. Yeah. And um, Day of the Dead rules. Anyway, but scary. the thing is, yeah, yeah. I just like, but just the whole concept of just being like 
just torn apart and eaten, like alive. That is is that's probably the worst way I can possibly think. Burned of alive that. would be crazy. I was thinking about that oh, Buddhist that monk Jesus on the Christ. cover of uh, the Rage Against the Machine album and like what that oh dude God, must have yeah. been going through. I've been, uh, you know, I've talked about it a lot die. already, but I've been meditating more lately. Being um, crushed to death would be Starving. terrible. Yeah. All the. the yeah. But jumping, I wonder, sucks. I always wonder though, it's overrated. I always wonder what jumping into a volcano would be. I feel no, like that would be I instant. I feel like you would, that would be the pain. Just well, painless. so be fast. so lit. It would just be over. Like Something is so hard that hot this melting just, rock, certainly it's going to dissolve you in a, in a, like a moment, right? Oof. You would think, I would hope. Uh, there, so. there's, oh, the, the, you reminded me, the torture method where they attach the bucket of rats to your belly and then the rats... Oh, you it. Yeah, yeah. Any kind of things, the exotic okay. ones. Yeah, anything in torture. There used to be things like some. Of the, you can actually do like a deep dive on some of these old like torture methods. There was one where there was like a pyramid thing where you, they'd stick it up your anus and yeah. pull you down over the pyramid, you know, like that, and it yeah. would just gradually just like pulls you apart oh. via your butt. Ugh, people. Brutal. Here's so, another uh, question for you. And Chad, I need your help with this one because I don't know how if any of us have an answer for this one that is interesting. Have you ever had an unexplainable experience with the supernatural? Have you ever had an unexplainable experience? We've with done the this one before, but I'm happy to talk about it again. All right, let's talk about it. I mean, it's it's all it's almost all hell is Eve. It's, well, you know, we, we we should definitely have this conversation yeah, right now. I, I don't think personally I really ever have had a real like. Oh my God, haunted, yada yada yada. You know what I mean? So I'm looking to chat, and I'm looking at you guys. All right. Do you want to share your stories first? I I'll be honest. I'm I, in a full disclaimer. I'm not really a believer in like a lot of supernatural stuff. So uh, uh, so I think there's probably a rational explanation for mine. But it was fucking weird, and uh, maybe I'm wrong. But uh, okay. I can. Yeah. So I'll let you go first, though. Do you have anything? I mean, I've talked about my sister story a million times. Yes, her, st your sister's story, but no, you've yes. never had a personal experience. Well, no, the personal experience was in London when I would come downstairs and the sink would be on and no one else was home. Uh huh. But then you have talked about this too, like it's not London, and I'm like, yeah, but how do you fucking explain the sink turning on? I feel tonight is Devil's Night. By nothing. I I feel That's very unhaunted, and I think. Uh, Gosh, turn Kaiju said my but my bud's dad saw an alien. He said it was I. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have I don't believe in ghost stuff at all, but there was a weird thing that happened once after my grandpa passed away. Also, Jingor, I've seen two, ghosts two times and had four experiences that I couldn't see a ghost. Look, I want you to put it in chat right now. We are gonna chill on this question for a minute and uh, uh, well, in short, your ghost story with your okay. sister. Um, I think I'm getting shorter at it. Yeah told it so many times but it's it is the only thing i can really say wholeheartedly that baffled me for a while my sister and i were talking almost every single day because i had a job where we could do that yo what's up Lindsay? Hey. 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 lady so at one point she tells me hey i'm not feeling so good um you know uh the cat is sick for some reason and you know spend all this money on vet bills and i have all this pressure on my back. I wrote it off and I said, sister dear, I love you, but you are just stressed out. So why don't we do some breathing exercises? Here's some candles. Like we, we honestly talked about just ways to chill out. And then, I put oh, on scary music. Some, some, some mood yeah, first. to so, give us a little mood. Now we're talking six weeks later. After the fact that we've acknowledged that it's whatever, you're just, anxious. She sends me a photo and she's just like, I have these bruises on my back. And the cat is still not well. This is six weeks later. She's gone to the vet many, many times. And this cat is 13 years old. It's lived with her her entire life. It won't go in the bedroom. And yada, yada, yada. I say, you need to chill out. About six weeks after that, her boss is obsessed with getting uh, her to meet his girlfriend. She says, fine, fine, fine. They go out for drinks. And at one point, they're talking about um, bad relationships, bad breakups. And this girl says, oh, the worst thing that I've ever experienced was a boyfriend and I broke up, and I had to stay in a house, well, an apartment that was haunted. And it was legit haunted. And my sister's feeling a little like, hmm, a 
about it at this point because nothing has worked. We've even, we're not very religious people or anything like that. We've, we've tried, we're like, you know what, let's just play by their rules. We'll light some candles, we'll say some prayers, and maybe that'll work. So this woman is talking about her experience. She's like, yeah, my dog got really sick and wouldn't go in the bedroom. Uh, you know, I was just stuck with this lease. My sister's like, interesting, interesting. And then she says, so where, um, where are you living? And it turns out that this random ass woman lived in the exact same apartment that my sister lived in like six years prior and basically had the same experience. Scary like, was being held down, pressure, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the pressure on the end. The that's so creepy. Bruises. She had bruises. It, like, that's why I started to take her seriously. And I'm, I'm telling you, it was like the, the cat stuff, the vet couldn't figure it out. And it wasn't until Marla like did a bunch of different little, you know, we just played by their rules. Like, sure, we'll believe. And then the cat got better, and she stopped getting bruises on her back and all this pressure. And I felt like a shithead because I was like, what an awful sister I am. Yeesh. You know? Anyway, that fucked me. That's and the scary story. Do you have? Like do you have one? You don't have one. You're like me, Jeff, it was right? A demon. No, I've got. You've got one. Yeah. Let me catch up with chat really quick before yeah. Jeff does his. I hated going to visit my half-sister's old house, That's says crazy. Unicorns for All. I've never felt like that in any other location. Something was 100% watching me every second I was in that house. I could feel it like an animal instinct. I hated going over to that house. That's amazing. See, I love that kind of thing. It's like it's nothing specific, but it's just you know it's different. Something I guess says, okay, so one of my the dorms in my college campus was haunted. I never saw anything, but my best friend Anthony says he saw things a few times. He is not the type to lie about things like that, so I completely believe him. So the first was he was walking down the stairwell, and while of course there's a mirror uh, at the turns, he was looking at his phone, and when he looked up at the mirror, he saw a little girl standing in front of him. When he turned, she was gone. Fucking terrifying. Uh, <laughs> nice. My pants are haunted, says Galfiskin. <laughs> Blue vitriol, if there's any way we you can know, give us Galfie. the, the Cliff's Notes in chat, we would love to see the Cliff's Notes. Uh, uh, something, I guess, says the second was he was up late and went to cook popcorn because I was coming over to play games. I'm a popcorn fiend. He saw something move in his peripherals, and then when he turned, he saw a glimpse of the girl again. Gosh darn Kaiju says, there's a room in my great aunt's house where her brother hung himself and her dad shot himself. The dad said he had the weirdest nightmares of his entire life in that room. They didn't s tell him about the suicides until after he slept down there. Lol. L -O I love at lots <laughs> of lots. <laughs> Ghosts just hate animals. Why? I know. What is that? Animals have instincts. They can like yeah. see, perceive things that aren't right in front of you. Wasn't right he's, he's not the only one who has talked about seeing the girl, and I've heard multiple stories about her, and the descriptions are usually the same. Uh, Jeff, give it, give it. Well, I just want to say when you talk about like animals, because you always like, think like animals and like babies and like kids and stuff, being able to see anything. I, I remember there's one time actually Lindsay and I were like, uh, uh, when the girls were just like, you know, they were just like crawling at this point. You know, they were like really, really little, and they're pointing up in like the darkest part of our of our apartment, like sort of like over by the front door. And there was like no light over there, and they were like looking up at the ceiling, both looking like in the same spot, and just pointing and laughing at something up in like there was nothing there, and we were just like, "That's no. fucking creepy." No. Okay, <laughs> so that but is uh, so creepy. it's funny, but kids will do stuff like that all the time. The other oh, good story actually. Um, my um daughter Emily the other day said we're, we're, I was like I was doing something else and, and she came up to me and she was like daddy I love your face I think you have wonderful place and I was like and I was like oh thank you sweet that's very sweet and she, she says I want to like I want to uh, see it for a thousand years and I went oh you want to see my face and she went and hang it on my wall <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and then she went back to playing whatever uh, what, what, just doing what she was doing that's I texted so Lindsay about funny. it uh, yeah. That's incredible. But, but kids will say that shit all the time. Any of you who have kids, yeah, well, no, they all say something creepy at some point. But, um, yeah, the creepy thing that happened to me is Lindsay and I were sitting on the couch this one time. We're, like, we're like watching a movie. We're eating popcorn or something. At some point, I yawn. A human hand, green, rotting human hand, comes out of my mouth, reaches in, grabs some popcorn, brings it back into my mouth, says, thank you, and then closes and never heard from it again. Ah. 
That's not the story, but uh, <laughs> uh, that's another one. That's a bonus one. Uh, were you about to say that? I feel like I cut you off. No, you didn't at all. Um, your grandpa no, found a devil baby in the Rocky Mountains, Gosh and Kaiju. Do you want to do you want to elaborate? We have softened our animal instincts with our McDonald's and our Playstations. I agree, absolutely. Um, I mean, none of my stuff is actual hauntings. I have night terrors, sleep paralysis, and hypnagogic dreams. I have seen some really weird shit in my dreams, I bet. Right. Galveston says, almost every night there is a small blonde child that suddenly appears between the woman and me in bed. He kicks the blanket away. So we both get mysteriously cold. I think that's your child. I think people were that's laughing at my. There's a lot of ha ha's. I think it might have been like Lindsay or my 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 daughter saying she was gonna that's hang amazing. my face on her wall. Yeah, yeah. Lindsay said she'll for do it one day thousand, too. The scariest part to me is for a thousand years. That's like terrifying. Baby Leatherface. <laughs> to say for a thousand years is horrifying. Um, did you see that? I actually know uh, Carly's doppelganger. I did. I did see that earlier, and I I didn't make mention because we were. So caught I was up gonna, and everything. Yeah, I actually I saw that as well. What? Cool. Yeah. Let us know where, where did you right. find her, and do you know her? Do you know her name or? Is or she is cool? Somebody... Is she lame? Is she a cheesemonger? Um, Does she work at a butcher shop? The one that I told before, which is, was basically that, that that I actually stayed in the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado, which is where they shot a lot of The Shining. And uh, I see there was, uh, it was a choir trip. Uh, I've been there before, with, like with my mom. We lived in Colorado, so uh, I, I, we've like gone up there and like you know, since I'm an adult, we've gone and, like go to the bar and had a drink there or something. Yeah, but uh, we actually stayed there uh, with, on a choir trip um, when I was in high school. And uh, I'll try to make this as abbreviated as possible. But yeah, it was this really weird thing because a lot of people were like freaked out. It's like, oh, this place is haunted, and I'm like, no, it's not. I'm always been kind of a skeptic. I will, I will say that. Mm. Um, but the thing I'm is, I'm right there with you, buddy. But but I um, but the uh, I do too. I'm I'm with you, and I love these kind of stories though. Yeah, uh, because me too. things I love where you these actually stories. you really actually can't explain it. And like for me, it was um, I'll try to remember all the details because it, it all happened sort of it rolled out kind of slowly. I was feeling a little bit sick, and I came up. There's a big dance or something like a social thing, you know, with uh, happening downstairs like in the ballroom, and I was like, I gotta go to the room for a while. I was like, hang out for a while. I'm just gonna like 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 listen to some music and just. And have to drink some water and just chill out. So I went up to the room, and there's all these like these chandeliers in the hallway or something, and I'm like going, and it's just, it's got a little a little bit creepy vibe, just especially when there's like our floor was entirely booked with a bunch of high school kids, so there's nobody else on the floor. So I go into the room and uh, and I and I, I try to turn the TV on. The first thing that happened, the TV is like like <laughs> like so like Silent Hill static. Like <laughs> it's like oh that's weird or something, and uh, um, and I'm trying to do it. Nothing's working. Um, I, this couldn't have been the case, but in my mind, the way I remember it is the TV was unplugged. Ah. That's the way I remember it. That that can't have been the case. But 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 uh, but uh, the thing is, and I was like doing that, and I like like plugged it a couple times. It keeps doing that. I was like, okay, whatever. And it's like, well, I'm gonna get some water. And so I'm gonna get some cold water. I turn the wa- the, the cold, and like s- piping, scalding hot water keeps coming coming out of the water. And uh, I was like, okay. Um, that's, this is a little bit weird. And I was like, well, this is probably just like mislabeled. And I turn on the hot water. It's still hot water. Nothing but like, it's the winter too. And like, this nothing but like hot you? water. Like, no, it actually telling you right now, it reminds me, like, yeah. it was like, it freaks me out. It's so, like all this, this is scalding hot water comes out. I was like, okay, well, I'm not drinking any water. And it's like, I, I, had a, I had a Walkman. This is still that area where people had like, like tape Walkman. You know, so, and I was like, I'm going to sit down and like listen to a little music. I put it on. It was like one of the Walkmans in the day, uh, like your sophisticated Walkman would have an auto reverse where like at the end of the tape, it would immediately go play the other way. So like you wouldn't have to like take the tape out and bring it up. So I did that. I put it on and it started instantly flipping back and forth. It was like, it was like, yeah, this is yeah. I don't know what I was to. And it was like, this is weird. I stopped it and it was like, it, it, I did like three times. It kept flipping back and forth. It was like, what the fuck's going on? And that just then the light started like flickering. And then I was, and I went, I'm the fuck out. All right. And so I, uh, um, I, I went. I got out of the, 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 the I went out of the room and all the chandeliers were shake were like like uh, were, were racking back and forth. They were all completely still. There was no reason they'd be doing this. All the chandeliers in the hallway were doing this. I ran Jesus. so fucking fast down that thing and to get back like, down. Oh, and oh, me, I ain't afraid of no ghost. I, yet. There's terrifying. got to be a rest professional explanation, but it's, I I don't know. But it's but it's uh but it's it's a fun story now. At the time, it scared the shit out of me. I was actually, uh, I remember, like, me and, like, a couple other friends of mine, we, like, sat up the whole night. Uh, we were, like, we were, because I told them that story, and they were talking about things, everybody's, like, 
talking about weird things they were that happened to them or something and then we were just like okay we're just gonna stay up in the room and talk and then we eventually all kind of fell asleep on um, in, in the room but it was uh, well, yeah it was great my theory great. Uh, or question I uh, guess about um, places that have a lot of activities my mom pops in and says I love I guess I love how Emily's comment about your face yeah. both <laughs> <laughs> hey mom <laughs> 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 my daughter's ever one of us I'm sorry to interrupt the the it's um, awesome but I wonder okay so maybe something I believe in That creates what it. Is so or carbon crazy. dioxide, po- uh, monoxide poisoning. I mean, <laughs> I, I think they might have just had an issue with humans that. Humans like stories, and yeah. I think yes. they like morality tales as much as they like. And there's an energy like, that, yeah, die. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of things. Don't die stories. You know, I think, think the brain is really, really fascinating. For sure. Just mm. like, and like, and the connections that it wants to make and everything. I was listening to this uh, podcast today. We were talking about a lot of this. They were talking about like, um, you know, the Greys, the aliens. Like, yeah. Where that the whole story like comes from, and and like, um, um, it kind of comes from like one incident. I can't remember the name of this couple or something. Where in the fifties, who like who were like the first to like have like this experience, whatever. And they say to do it. Somebody who's like an enthusiast will probably know their name, but. Um, yeah, but, but like there's there's so many things if you actually break it down that makes sense. And why they can only remember these parts of the face and stuff is because those like the, the in order like the things that you actually like see. You see the eyes and you see the mouth and then, then the nose is the last thing. And so like it's these these parts that your brain like fills in and How anyway. So. Fear. Also, I there's feel a lot like, of good stuff. Uh, one in, of the sorry. first things like as a baby you get is facial recognition. Yeah. So every time I see. Uh, baby on the subway I always like no matter how shitty I feel I, I always no I just smile I just smile I don't do a creepy face that's mean I smile I smile and I just because a baby all day is on the subway looking at miserable people and, and, it, and it affects them and it affects them so even if I'm miserable and I don't want to smile if I see if a baby and I make eye contact I give a smile because apparently it's very affecting to a child when they see like like they can recognize um, a smile versus like sadness, and it, it really mm-hmm. fucks with them. If you're just a bunch of, if you're like super miserable all the time, uh, got some so many comments to read right now. Yeah. So I'm gonna drill through these. While you're, you're doing that, should I make another? Please drill? make us another cocktail, and I'll go through the ingredients there I'll, later. I'll bring it over. Oh sure. Yeah. As a dad, maybe you could answer me. Why do babies like this? Every baby, they always like the surprise face more than any other face. I, 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 I it's very expressive. Like, because the thing is, because they, they, they automatically maybe? understand like what a uh, a smiley face and what like a, a frowny face. So right. Like, so surprise is great is the, because it's something you mean caught up in that emotion. Because right. Yeah. So they, yeah. Yeah, because it's like whoa. Because yeah, getting surprised is uh, effective. All right. Siddle Frank says, I got high and went ghost hunting once. We ended up in the middle of nowhere and we stopped on this low water bridge to find our bearing. All of a sudden, I felt extreme pressure in my chest and then blacked out. And when I came to, my face was drenched in tears and I was on the verge of suicide. We found out later that a woman drowned her baby on that bridge and I haven't gone looking for anything like that since. Fuck all that. Oh my God. That's Siddle Frank. That's incredible. We have a bunch of scary. We have a bunch of scary ones. Gosh darn Kaiju, his grandfather's uh, uh, finding of a devil baby in the mountains is the best, I think. Galveston, really quick, though, said, the boy did say, I see you, in English, in a creepy, high-pitched voice while hiding behind the door in the bathroom. The woman lost her shit, and we high-fived. I think that's awesome. Also, that's probably just him mimicking you while playing PUBG. By the time he killed that boy. By the time he killed that boy. Gostern Kaiju says, he was, uh, this is about the grandfather finding the devil baby in the mountains. He was visiting some college friends and went hiking. Seriously? He heard a baby crying and wanted to go find it. His friends told him not to, but he went into the woods to find it. He found a baby lying face down in the mud, wrapped in a dirty blanket. He walked over to it and flipped it over, and it had a demonic face and said to him in Spanish, I am the beast. He turned and ran down the mountain. So, killed that poor baby. Uh, a friend's... Oh, whoa. <laughs> 
A friend's kid, like 18 months old, woke up screaming, Mommy, I see eyes. I see eyes, Mommy. Was that Lindsay who said that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, was her, yeah that, was, that was the Sears kid. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Um, I can't stop. Uh, oh, uh, yes, yeah, yes, your that. mother. We did that one. Um, something, I guess. So I have sleep paralysis. Uh, dreams from time to time for a man of a man in a trench coat and hat who's either standing at the end of my bed or in the door watching me. It's terrifying. And Kevin Barnett also has sleep paralysis and talks all the time about like a demonic, a white demonic, terrifying fucker a standing over her. Haunting, Haunting Hill House 2 takes takes on some extra meaning. There is, there is a man with a hat and a trench coat at one point in that movie. Vance, that Vance sure. Blessing saying, damn, hold on, looking better than usual tonight. I, I Thank you. The the it's because of the makeup. You've met the man in the trench coat? That happened to me when I was... Uh, that happened to Lexi when she was no young? Way. Or in college. Do you want to come it tell the story? People, no, no, no. It happened to a... Well, we can't hear. Yeah, if you're going to talk in the doorway... <laughs> it happened to a lot of people in that dorm. They'd see the same same guy there was a lot of hauntings. really I in, in boston. boston yeah and, and boston's the, very haunted the uh dorm used to be an old ho- old hotel and it was across the street from fenway park babe ruth actually he lived there so like i mean all the old like baseball players and stuff were always there that was awful um but then uh <laughs> yeah so but in boston oh my god in the theater the huntington theater the old the stage manager told us of all of these like ghost stories and stuff of like seeing a guy at the end of the hall and that you know it's the same thing over and over. Right. But um, no, I could talk forever about sleep paralysis. That shit is scary. Oh. All right, I'm done now. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you, Lexi. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, something I guess. And then that one time where Venom tried to kill me and I couldn't move, but that one's kind of fun. That's awesome. Lauren interrupted said uh, sleep paralysis. Lauren interrupted says. I stayed the night at the Vasilla Axe murder house once, and part of the tour we paid for was a tour of the cemetery. Well, I have family that's buried there that I've never met or knew about. So as we were walking through, the oldish-looking lady with the dog is there visiting a grave. She stops me and says to me, you must be looking for Carlson Graves. You look just like them. Carlson was the last name of my family that was buried there. It was weird. That's incredible. That's amazing. That's actually kind of See, sweet. That's- I don't think all scary things need to be without some lovey dub. I mean, like, maybe your family, if there is such a thing, they want to see you, and she could tell that you, I guess she knows the town. I don't know. Um, uh, also, big eyes is the reason why the surprise thing works yes, so well. Yes. Oh, also, I have dreams where I'm waking up and I'll hear, like, footsteps running across my apartment or I will hear someone call out to me. It fucks me up sometimes. I, like, try to hear that sometimes. What's up, Nerdy Erty? How you doing? Um, and Fern, uh, Japanese is tomorrow, 4 p.m. ET. We have a spooky Halloween Japanese. It's going to be incredible. Come join us then. Uh, we're about to sing a song, by the way, and if you'd like to donate for the karaoke incentive... You will not be disappointed. There is the link for it, and we will be singing Take Me Home Country Roads in just a second here once we get these uh, uh, new drinkies in our handies. I drove from central Alaska to Las Vegas, says Vance Blessing, once at 4 a.m., barely any sunlight sunlight near the Canadian border. We got over this hill in the middle of absolutely nowhere, and there was some figure at least seven feet tall with a cloak and hood on, that was Ben Kissel on that looked just stood in the snow with no tracks around him and not even a building or off road for hours. That's horrifying. I that, that actually is such a scary image. I want the end of this stream to be that I was never actually here. And yeah, that I, died from here. I love it. Tell Kevin to stop being a goddamn baby. Being scared of a white demonic figure ain't nothing like nothing special. That's just being brown in America. Oh my god, Josh, Josh, Josh Garn. Darn I do. I don't know how these turned out, by the way. I uh, Holden, I need to know the next time you are going to be in Charlotte so I can kidnap you and make you my spooky ghost in the attic. That's gonna be around December. That's fine. Uh, I don't have sleep paralysis, but I have a reoccurring serialized dream. So, oh my god, I've made it back to the our normal um, uh, yeah. chat box. I don't have sleep paralysis, but I have a lot of reoccurring serialized dreams. For the past few years, I've been dreaming about being stuck in this same haunted house. The hallways shift, paintings whisper, I've come face-to-face with a woman who I swear I could smell her breath. 
<laughs> There's a terrifying man behind you making cocktails. Look out, he's coming. Oh my god. So here we go. Here are the steps. These are a little bit bigger than usual, so I ended up making too much. Fantastic. Red rum. Rum, Campari, cherry liqueur, dry curacao. Made too much of it, Lindsay. You have something to do with it. One and a half parts rum. <laughs> yeah, exactly. One half part Campari. One half part cherry liqueur. One quarter part curacao. Stir with ice and pour. Come drink with us forever and ever and ever. That is the red rum, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a toast, then I'm going to read Jen Gore's comment, and then we're going to sing. Toast. Cheers. I'm going to do some more karaoke, so uh, you know what? I normally am just being like, hey, it's cool you guys just hang out, and it is, but uh, maybe but, yeah. we'll hear some yeah. songs. Hell yeah, man. You got, you got the... Pipes. Hell yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta sing. We're about to do it. our next song. There are the incentives. If you'd like to donate for a karaoke song, we would greatly appreciate it. I'm gonna see if you can see it. If I can make it see yeah, it. Yeah, Jeff and Lindsay has, uh, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. You, you can see it. Cool. I need to get whatever so your uh, screen <laughs> thing is because people, I, I can never get that to come out. Jen Gore says, my grandmother has had lots of paranormal shit happen in her life, and her best friend of, like, 40 years had an encounter with an entity called El Sibon, which looks like just a regular man on a horse. He knocked on her door and hands her a potato sack and says, I'll be back for it tomorrow. She looked inside, and it was full of human femurs, so she took it to a priest and stopped staying up at night. She died of abusing sleep medicine a few months later. Oh, my God. Good night, something I guess. Something I guess is uh, heading out for the night. So Fucking terrifying. Something I guess. Have a good one. Good night. Take care. Sweet dreams. Are made of V. All right, whatever, though. Just today, I was helping uh, the kiddo uh, decorate for Halloween. And she was like, why do you keep laughing like that? And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, Galveston also, I'm going to Galveston sleep. Galveston goes to sleep. Bearded Jeff eating there popcorn with his mouth hand. Beautiful. The scariest thing that ever happened to me in real life was finding a body. It was suicide. The most terrifying and haunting thing that's ever happened Holy to me. I couldn't imagine shit. that. That would ruin, that would wreck me. I that saw would... a dead guy in the subway once, though. Really? Yeah. Exactly. That was one of the questions, actually, that uh, is in, in this uh, haunted we'll, we'll, we'll scary it. wig. Is ever, Have you ever seen a dead body? So, uh, we'll wait for that then. Yeah, there you go. But now, let's do Country Roads. Hey. Sing the creepy stash. KTV this, Entertainment. This is this, right? Yes, thank okay. you so much. Oh, shit. Do we have a song that we need to also sing? Is Fabrizio still We here? do. Is, for, if Fabrizio, right. is Fabrizio here? She was here earlier. All right. Are you gonna you, you gonna start? Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than, than the trees. trees, younger than the mountains. Blowing like a breeze, country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country roads. You want to do it? Yeah. All my memories. Gather round me. Mama's lady. Dark and dusty. Painted on the sky. Misty taste of moonshine. Teardrop in my eye. Cause you're old. Take me home to the place. Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads. I hear a voice in the morning, morning how she calls me. The radio reminds me of my home far away. And driving down the road, I get a feeling that I should have been home. Yes, 
yesterday, yesterday, country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads, country roads. It's like my favorite. It's like my favorite one. That was great. That was for you. That was for my mom, but she's still listening because my mom so good. Listen to John Denver all the fucking time, and I'll tell you what. And I grew a taste for it actually growing up. And so it's I listened so good. to it many times. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And um, I made you study drink. I yeah, classic. Too. So. Um, oh, I yeah. We actually drink. from at our wedding uh, for for my uh, like. Oh, for the song. song well, well, it wasn't that song. It was actually uh, it was. Um, what was it? Oh, I know the song. I just can't think of the title. Um, but yeah, we, we for the mo- for the mother son dance. It was it was uh, uh, sunshine on my shoulders. Oh, that makes me happy. I sing that down walking down the street sometimes. If it's sunny, if there's sunshine yeah. on my shoulders. Only problem with that for the mother so mother son dance is it's really long. I forgot how like long that song is. <laughs> it's so slow. The mother for a long it's time. like uh, yeah. it's like it's good, but I've run out of things to say. <laughs> right? Anymore. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We so, we covered it. Remember when I was I'm joking. Born? Uh, so there the donation incentives. You want us to sing another joking. song? I feel like we're on fire right now. Please donate ten dollars to sing mm. a song, any song of your choice, and twenty five bucks. We haven't done the lip sync challenge yet the lip sync competition between jeff and i would also love to do that as well until then we're going to go back to spooky questions (laughs) how much to have carly do a feature on my band's next album oh my god i'd say just get in touch with her she'd probably be down to do it i'm a collaborator glad i waited oh got me standing hung in there because i get to hear my my silky country voice uh vance blessing when i was in afghanistan We used to have a gu- uh, to guard this camera called a raid tower, which was a camera at the top of 50, a 50 foot tall metal tower that was for our base of security. That's terrifying already. Really at night, you would catch glimpses of this giant cat, but after it would walk behind a wall, it would never be seen coming out the other end. That's horrifying. It's already scary enough just to be I up on this. scary to be there. I know, right? Sorry. I'm watching me, I'm getting like more and more like, hey guys, hey guys. I love your <laughs> stuff. I really do. I played a little bit of Dead Space last yeah, year. Yeah, it's good, right? Oh, God. That yeah, game is good. fucking scary. scary. Yeah, that Afterwards, game is scary like, as fuck. There was a mobile version of it. There was like It was like a prequel kind of thing. Um, that it's, it's long gone, so I'm going to spoil it in case anybody hasn't, because you're not going to be able to play it now anymore. But it was like, it was like uh, yeah, because like you've got like your whole space suit on or anything, and uh, it was a little bit of a Metroid kind of thing at the end because you realize you've got this short voice, and it actually turns out you actually are a woman at the end of the of the thing. But um, you're part of like this. This, but the thing is, um, that was just a little side, little side note. But the thing is, I just thought it was really cool at the time. I was like, oh, fuck, that was cool. It's like Metroid too. Uh, but the. Um, the uh, uh, but yeah, but just playing that on the train in the middle of, like the morning, you know, with like and during rush hour, I was playing like, Dead Space on my phone, and it's scaring the shit out of me. So uh, yeah, this the sound effects and yeah, and just like you, they did incredibly the good sound. Yeah, it's uh, so sound good. design is on point on that Half game. Half of it is my lack of ability to control the controls yet, but I got I got better. It only took two hours. Uh, Jigor says, most of the deaths I've seen were like light switches. Yeah, one second so you're real. looking at them and blam, they're laying on the ground dead. Worst one is this old lady starting to have his stroke and jumping in her chair. Then she seized and made a yelp and became brain dead. Boom. I always get freaked out about the um, brain aneurysm. You know what I mean? Just pop. Just something pops in your head and you're fucking gone. Favorite horror movie, everybody? I'm going to go with... Uh, the Shining, The Exorcist, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Those are my top three. I've never seen Texas Not in that Chainsaw order. Massacre. You gotta watch. It's, it's so Texas good. Texas is my favorite. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is number one. 
Number two might be Hellraiser for or or Hellraiser two for fun reasons because I have always thought that movie was really fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which is strange. I was like, look at him, he's got pins in his head. And look at how <laughs> crazy they look. Um third one I might have to think about. Uh, I gotta think well, I think, Beetlejuice, I think, about but I think of Beetlejuice is comedy. When you were younger, did you ever explore haunted places around Shaw, like Lada Plantation and Founders Hall? No, I have not, dude. That's fucking awesome. I don't even know of did those you places. Did Sunnyvale and Tallahassee? I never did Sunnyvale and Tallahassee. Sunnyvale was a children's mental hospital that was since shut down, and people would go there Horrible. and break into it. Horrible. It was like dilapidated Horrible. and creepy. Yeah. Apparently it was shut down because of horrible inhumane practices horrible. they were performing on the children too. So it people was... would people would go there late at night. I should for sure I, Skype. I went uh, as a Halloweeny thing, and it was it was so terrifying that I really didn't last too long to be honest because it dealt with reality. It wasn't like oh ghosts. It was like no, this is a place where lots of kids were tortured, and there's lots of evidence around about that. But you had to enter through underneath this fence. And then you went to like a boiler room, and the boiler room was scary enough. Seriously, it was so. It was just too spooky. Mm. I feel like for me, like my favorite, actually, I, I feel like it's cheating in a weird way like that. But if I, but if I had to think about it, like, like uh, it probably might be the original Night of the Living Dead. Ah. Yeah. That's good. I feel like you know because it, it's. I'm wrong with that. We've got, uh, I like Amanda's great choices here. Exorcist, Silence of the Lambs, and Jaws. Definitely great picks. Silence of the Lambs is yeah. fucking amazing. Jaws is, Jaws, I forget it's like a horror movie. You know what I mean? It, it, I, I, it, it really it's, is. I separate it from horror for some reason. It's like a thriller. It's like an action Like show. Alien, and going back to my thing earlier about like, like horror Alien movie, like, is like so horror goddamn so good. She's a man, baby! Unicorns for all police with love of oh, all things spooky. The Ghostbusters oh, theme! Shit, nice. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for it. Here are the incentives for the karaoke. Hopefully, karaoke block coming up. I'm so excited to see that. We were watching you dance the other day on stream, and we were cracking up. We were cracking up. I gotta be honest, I I really still love the uh, the original. I love the ring, too. The American. Yeah. I think think it's good. good. It still freaks me out. I still think it's really, yeah. So. I will, by the way, Skype, I will check out the Dunhill Hotel. Uh, Eleanor the Horse says, I was on an island riding a bike at night and I kept seeing the same cat farther and farther along the road. Except there's no way I could have gotten ahead of me because I was going so fast. I was super freaked out. But later found out that all the cats on the island were inbred and all looked the same. <laughs> can Still, I make, though. <laughs> can I make a recommendation to everybody, too? Yeah. Unless you were still reading, I'll, I'll come back to it. Uh, the Witch, Black Coat's Daughter, and Halloween for Jin Gore. The Exorcist, The Shining, and Unpopular, The Devil Inside. I also love House of the Devil and Your Next. Two of my favorite horror films. I haven't films. seen The Witch or Black Coat's Daughter. But which is both them. I, I love really The Witch. Seen both. It didn't really I love, scare me. I haven't I seen Black Coat's Daughter. Done. Exactly. It wasn't necessarily scary. It was just a really just pretty, really awesome, done. creepy, fun movie. The whole, the whole story. It it watches like a scary story tells. Yes. Yes. And uh, Jeff, what were you going to say? I forgot. I knew it was gonna happen. I was like, I know he just forgot. What the okay. fuck? Well, I have a good oh no no I do I remember I remember there you go. again yeah actually it's uh it's it's um very very little known but it was actually banned in the UK for a while perhaps Blue Vitriol knows about this it's uh it it, it came out it actually inspired like a lot of the found footage horror stuff that we see now uh like it inspired like the, like the Blair activity. Witch and stuff mm-hmm. in a lot of ways it and yeah um. It was called uh, it was called uh, Ghost Watch. Ooh. It was something they did like in the in the nineties in uh, in the on on, on uh, BBC I believe or something or maybe ITV I don't know but it was uh, but it was a um, um, they set it up they actually used like actual like news people and stuff too like that and they were doing like they were gonna do like a deep dive on like paranormal stuff and they were gonna like go to the most haunted house in Britain and they were going to uh, uh, investigate it and during the show like weird so there's like there's like in studio stuff where they're talking to experts and things and stuff but it was all like bullshit it was like like an old like war of the worlds thing where like they, they'd set it up like it was going to be like a real thing but it was actually um it was actually uh like a, a whole scripted thing and it was genuinely scared the shit out of people because there's just because, because there's like they oh, they wow. did some stuff now this is before you could just like pause things and go for through frame by frame and so there were things that happened and there's this ghost called pipes in it and it's 
genuinely like I think it follows up pretty well. Okay. If you get a chance, I think I think it's on YouTube. Please remind me of this like it's tomorrow. Called, but yeah, it's called uh, Ghost Watch, Ghost and it Watch. got banned in the UK for like a long time because they thought uh, it was real. a guy actually killed himself. A, a mentally disturbed man was hearing like the heating his heating pipe, you know, like like and in, in things like the clonking, yeah. and thought it was pipes, and so he like killed himself. Whoa. And there was like a lot of stuff. Um, I thought about it, and it was yeah, it's it's good. Yeah, check out Ghost Watch if you can. I got on like a, I think it was a Peter Sellers kick for a minute, mm -hmm. and there is a movie. Maybe you guys can help me or someone in chat if they don't know. But um, it was about the people who basically got there were people who were building the tube, like the subway, and then they got trapped in there. Mm -hmm. And I think there's like somewhat truth to this story. And they stayed alive. They ate some of each other, but they kept, um, you know, having a baby or two or something, and basically were like these underground little people type of thing. Um, but there's a movie where I think it's Peter Sellers. I'm fairly certain. I'm really bad with names, guys. Just who I am. Um, but he is the detective, and that one's pretty. It was a great movie. That sounds... It's kind of a mystery flick, but at the same time, when you know you find out what's going on with the people in the ground it's, it's there's a whole spooky. yeah that's a great story actually like I people becoming true. like mole people who like regular i love yeah watching, like, like people like i read the book mole people down about down like the reporter who went down apparently they took some liberties on uh, uh apparently they made a might have fibbed a little bit on some of that stuff but the mole people book is kind of Amazing! I sort of I, I I love it about the underground community of people in New York that just live in this uh, abandoned subway tunnels. Uh, I saw the Texas Chainsaw Massacre for the first time at the end of a week in Bender with my buddy in college. We were in dark beer soaked apartment drinking whiskey and watching the fucking that fucking movie, dude. That's the best way to watch it. I gotta check out. Uh Jenga is really going in on Black Coast Daughter. I gotta check that out. Yes, Black Coast Daughter, I've my favorite it. film in the past 20 years. It literally has the saddest ending ever of a horror movie. And I always say the best horror movies have very unsettling, sad endings. Like, yeah. it never has a good ending. Which is one of my issues with Stephen King is that, um, and why I like The Shining film better than the book is because like the book ends with like a rah rah like oh we beat the evil yeah, whereas they did a TV version of it with uh, yes she's hey, a man nice. baby the greatest horror song of all time oh, thriller okay, yeah, yeah. I'm you so don't excited even for know that how excited I am about that because <laughs> that was something I was considering for John Witcherman oh hell yeah and we were just like we can't figure that out instrumentally right yeah um. I'm seeing a lot of House of the Devil too. Another friend of mine, my friend Clara, was telling me about I House of the Devil. Ha I love House of the Devil, Jeff. You I'll will love out. House of the Devil. It is Thank such you. a good. And what I love about House of the Devil is some of my favorite parts of <laughs> horror films are the lead ups. Yeah. Like, one of my favorite things, like watching Friday the 13th uh, movies, and like sometimes I almost wish the movie was just about the camp kids before the murderer even mm -hmm. gets involved. You know what I mean? She's a man, baby. Here we go. You wanted a train. You get a train. Somebody's watching me by Rockwell. Beautiful. All right, we're doing this now. We got a block. Yeah, it was great. We got a killer block. Uh, so, so uh, yeah, uh, just like that, That the House of the Devil has such a great lead up. I want to hear you sing Dragula by Rob Zombie. That'd be awesome. Drag it, please. I'll put that out there. We haven't done much Rob Zombie or, or White Zombie, and I would love to do more of that. Um, the, sorry. Not the best scary movies of all time since Unicorn Sprawl, but the three that get me the most, The Conjuring, 28 Days Later, and Rosemary's Baby. Love all three of those the films. The Conjuring 1 and 2 together? When you actually like, watch it? I don't know if I've seen seven. the second one. I need to oh, watch the second one. I need to watch the, the story. One. Yeah. Wait, wait, or am I thinking of... I'm not scared of the doll, though. No, I think Man, I, baby, Skythe with the sub. Thank you so much, man. Lindsay, Switch what am I thinking sub, of? Dude. It's not the Conjuring. It's the other one. This also got that guy, the same actor. Annabelle. Uh, no, no, it's I'm it's it's the one. Know. There's there's a part one and two. It's one where they're like, you know, it's not the house. That, this house that's haunted. It's the child. Whatever the the, the, <laughs> the cheesy tagline was. It's not the Conjuring. I think is one about like that they. Uh, yeah. That. David, the, the, the the people who did the anime right. the horror, which by the Insidious. way, Insidious. Insidious. That's Insidious the one. Insidious is great. Insidious one and two Insidious together. Is great. Oh yeah, everybody's yeah on that. Yeah, Girl, it's. Uh, but yeah, the, I think the two of them uh, together is like uh, uh, are really fun. But the second, actually, uh, Lindsay and I watched the second Conjuring. The beginning of that, 
just like this the opening segment before the even opening credits is like one of the best it's starts great. to a horror movie. I gotta watch it. Yeah, you yeah, I um I like the first one a lot. Lindsay, I saw it in the theater it? opening oh, night and it was Conjuring awesome. Two where it's basically the Amityville horror, but it's like it's like a different perspective on it. It's just like a short thing, but it's so fucking good. It's so scary. Anyway. I like Let the Right One In. That one's not so scary. I love Let the Right One In. Which one? Did you ever see that? Let the right Let one the right in. in. It's a vampire movie. I've heard of it. I know, I know about it. I feel like I know everything about it. I haven't it seen it. It is so fucking yeah. good. I don't think Tip-toe it's... Tiptoe through the window. Uh, real quick, before we go into this wonderful karaoke block, I've got a pretty easy, yep. easy one to Let's ask. Let's do an easy one. So let's do the easy one, okay? And I will start with my answer. Would you rather have an arm hacked off or a leg? I'm, an, I'm a gamer. I'm going to go with leg. I like to run, but you can give me a prosthesis. Yeah, I'll still be totally. able to run. Yeah, leg. I'm gonna take the leg and uh, keep my arm. I also am a runner, and yes, and the thing is, I'm a designer. I, I need my hands. What Abel, I mean, I also make. I okay, so I'm probably gonna have to say the same thing because I do think, in terms of art, it's a lot easier having two hands. But have you seen what people with one arm can do? They can, they can do so I'm sure they can. Yeah, but now arms over legs, legs, dude. I'm gonna go with arms. I'm gonna go with arms. I want, I want the touch. I want to keep my. I need my hands. Stuff. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Leg 100. Uh, okay. Leg, I think. Give me a cool robo. Exactly. Everyone wants the robot leg. Crash, wants the cool crash chest penguin. Leg. By the way, said uh, uh, Wicker, Wicker Man, Man original. Rich, I obviously. Seen it. I, I want to see. Bees. I'm glad somebody bees, finally Wicker said Man. Alien. I want to say that earlier. The original Alien, Alien is one of the again, greatest. And Mandy. Wow. All right. Sci-fi and horror. And uh, Mandy. Alien is incredible. I don't know if I know Mandy. Alien. I, I actually. It's recent, isn't it? Yeah, I was. I feel kind of bad. Like it was a Valentine's Day, and for some reason, I was just feeling so anti Valentine's Day. And Lexi had never seen Alien before, and it was it was on deck, and I was like, "We're doing this for Valentine. This is gonna make my Valentine's Day so much better if we watch Alien right now." And we watched it. Did she like it though? And she that did enjoy awesome. it. It is so fucking good, man. And the thing, by the way, no one's mentioned the thing. Oh God, yes. You no. know what? I'm putting. That, I'm changing my list. That's my number one. Is the thing. Honestly, I forgot about that. And I want to say, by the way, again, transcending genres. Alien, the first one, it's a sci-fi and a horror movie. Second one, sci-fi action movie. Third one, sci-fi and bullshit. I agree with. So, uh, I, yeah. I agree with Amanda. It's Fourth not my one, top three, but it is definitely in my top bullshit. five. It is so definitely in my top five. So I just wanted to shit on Alien three and four too. I like Phantasm, but it, I don't think it makes my top five. And the thing also maybe makes my top. Is is it is it the thing and Alien complete my top five? But Silence of the Lambs is so good that I can't really watch it on the reg. That's how good of a horror movie it is. You know what I mean? Like these other movies, I can watch regularly. And like enjoy them. The Silence of the Lambs has a power to it that yeah. I cannot watch it regularly. So doesn't that elevate it I to? I can't watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre regularly. Really? No. I it's, it's that one's super fun for me. It's utterly possible, and that shit happens. Yes. Yes. Totally. Now, granted, I could just be scared of road trips, but is, instead uh, I choose to be just generally is scared. Silent, of... Is Silent? Is not Silent? Sorry. Silence of the Lambs. No. Is is uh, Resident <laughs> Evil? Uh, the newest one is that a little bit uh, I don't think so. Texas Chainsaw Man Massacre? I haven't played it yet. I haven't played the new one. I'm I'm I'm, oh, I'm trying to stay away from it. It's as very much as Texas possible. Chainsaw. Yeah, it's Resident Evil Seven. With crazy family. And we stuff should. And I, we yeah. should. You should just come over maybe before or after one of these and we'll play it. Okay. We left and off yeah, it's the, uh, it's awesomely scary. Uh, yeah. I, I have friends who, who were like, it's too much. I can't play it. Yeah. It's like too real. I feel like Outlast is that a little bit. Outlast like is a little bit like that as well. Outlast it's is... The, uh, Outlast, like Outlast, you Outlast, you just have a camera so and a, a flashlight, and like you don't have any weapons or anything. Even if you hide and you're just... T- you're you're just out yeah. From under wherever you're hiding Lindsay and, and I played a couple of those, yeah. uh, those games actually for a while. Ooh, funny there were some, some, some there was A couple games that were like, where, where like the whole thing is you have to hide... Yeah. And like do some something you know to like uh, you have to set some thing traps up to eventually def- defeat a boss. See, but we, play like yeah. yeah. Well, that's like that 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 alien isolation is kind of like that, right? Uh, yep. Alien yeah. isolation you is can super like hide that. From it, right? So. Yeah, I like lost my mind playing alien isolation. Uh, alien, uh, kind of. You have weapons though with that, like, but you have to kind of be. It's mostly fighting other people, right? Yes, yes, yes. I'm building the karaoke playlist right now. We've got 
We got uh, some, such good, a good some good, uh, good things. Chat with everybody while I do this. It's funny. I All think right. I like scary things because they really work on me. Alien Force should never be. You know what? By the way, here, let me just pitch this to you all, everyone. Because the thing is, because for a while, I remember, was it Neil? Is it Neil LeBute? Is that, who, is that the name that I'm thinking of? Uh, the, the guy playwright? Who was, who was, no, no. Not Neil LeBute. Neil, no. Neil, I think it's Neil, Neil something or other. Somebody will know this. Uh, people are screaming at their screens probably right now. It's the guy who was going to like reboot, or who was going to big like retcon Alien, I think. Uh, where where he had like old, he had the pictures of like old Ripley and and uh, Hicks yeah, original with, like, funny. I need uh, to see original funny games. Hicks, I haven't watched it. Hicks I'm with like a burned too face, freaked from, out because I think that's like too real. It would have been me. like a sequel to Aliens. It would have been right. like like ignored all the Aliens versus Predator and all the other right. bullshit that's happened in three and four. It was supposed to be something that was that. that it's the guy who directed uh, um, um, District Nine and. Uh, Chappy, I don't know. I've never seen it, but I know he directed it. Uh, 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 but yeah, he, um, uh, yeah, he was going to for a while until Ridley Scott decided to just keep going with this whole uh, Prometheus bullshit. Was going to, uh, was oh, going yeah. to, um, he was going to like, like set aliens back up again. And the thing is, and um, they weren't claiming to like disregard three and four, but they were like saying it's basically going to. But it's going to be like more of a, sh a sequel to Alien to uh, to Aliens, and the way that I think they could have done that is because they already set, uh, established cloning in the other ones. So they want to pretend those are still real. They just have like they were they, the real the Ripley from Alien Three and from Alien Four was just a clone, right? And uh, and that way you have this whole other um, um, plot line of like the real the real Ripley being able to go off and actually you know, do some, like, awesome shit as opposed to the bullshit that you did in 3 and 4. I Done. Mean, anyway. No, no, you ready I mean, for so, it? So, no. Let them go at you real quick. Um, do, 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 Oh, Jeff mentioned The Ring. He mentioned that, Blue. Uh, The Grudge, I can't Oh, yeah, Blue Vitriol. I love the it's ring. Funny. The ring, yeah, I, it's like one of those, it's so good. The Grudge, the first, the second one? No, that was, the Grudge, um, um, Although uh, Lindsay and I still like to make the, the uh, at each other occasionally, and then the Grudge Two, the the American remake or not remake, the great American, maybe perhaps directed video Grudge Two. There's one instead of the uh, there's a woman who actually goes <gasps> like breathes in, and that's like super creepy too. But um, you know those are good like scare machines. I think the Grudge movies, but the Ring I think is like genuinely. I have never played uh, the original Amnesia, but I'm down to. But it's yeah, it's kind of similar to. I feel like it almost doesn't hold up graphically a little bit at this point. That's the problem with video games in, as a whole. Like sometimes shit just doesn't hold up because it's just graphical shit. Um, uh, yes, ask us your horror trivia question that you wrote, Lauren. Interrupted. I don't understand shadow work. That's what I'm seeking always. I don't understand. Was that in reference to what scares me? Uh. She says it up there. I oh, have you guys played by a, a quick, a really fun, uh, like just downloadable, like scary game, the, like a piece for is the uh, is uh, Layers of Fear. Yes, that's when that first movie perspective. Yeah. Layers yeah, of it's Fear is really good. good. I, I highly recommend it. It's 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 uh, uh, yeah. it's got some really good jumpy jump scares. It doesn't have any happy. No, wait, I'm saying uh, see how happy oh. I am. I just got like a half a dozen new horror games. Oh yeah. From Blue, and then Cammy. Did somebody gave say me layers of fear? And I just she gave me that one. Oh, I'm sorry. Awesome. I I was too I was too busy going on about how I wanted uh, Blowcamp Neil Blowcamp. Is that who I'm thinking of? Well, it's fucking no matter what. It, it is matter. time to yeah. sing mm -hmm. a full block of karaoke songs. Okay. If you'd like to so donate for the for karaoke everything. block, keep it coming. Everything We're also we like. haven't gotten a li lip sync competition yet this evening. I'm gonna post that in really quick as well. I, I feel like I've been in Chatterbox. Sorry. I'm lip syncing him right now, so you guys get a little bit of lip sync. Such a Chatterbox. Carly, you are fine. Booze? It is the booze. Absolutely. It's the booze. And you're a I mean, I'm you were the chat. You were literally the chattiest <laughs> person I've ever. Person, however, you were the chattiest fucking person I've ever met in my life. I'm gonna say. Actually. That's why we're such good friends. Because we talk a lot. <laughs> I scream. I like, talk a lot as well. We exactly. Can talk and talk and talk. <laughs> All right. So. Ever. Let us, yeah, forever and ever. All right, let's do this. Shout outs to okay. who donated for this fucking song, goddammit. 
That would be Unicorn Sprawl. This one goes out to you. And then Crash Test Penguin and Unicorn Sprawl again. Let's do this. Are you going to take the lead? Oh, yeah. It's a fucking lit. If you guys step on this, I'm going to be so pissed. Say a fucking word. All right. Yeah, turn it up because we need the two part. Song. You remember that from your dance? Yeah, it is. You remember how long it is? Oh, I danced a lot to this. Fuck the fridge twice. If there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! If there's something weird and it don't look good, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! I ain't. No? I ain't. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't for no ghost. I I got it. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghost. There it is. Get your fucking hands up! Uh, sure. Yeah, it's your turn. Be seeing things run, running through your head. <laughs> oh, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! An invisible man are sleeping in your bed. Uh, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Oh, you're afraid of no ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Saw you, Jeff. Bring it home, baby. Who are you gonna call? <laughs> if you're all alone, pick up the phone and you call. Ghostbusters! I ain't afraid of no ghost. I hear he likes the girls. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Uh, it's all together now. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! If you have a dose of a freaky dose, you better, you better call. call Ghostbusters! This is some, something I don't know. Oh, this is like the. This is like the bridge. There's like four bridges. Uh, I can't wait for us to scream Bustin' makes me feel good! Bustin' makes me feel good! Oh, missed it. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghost! Bustin' makes me feel good! I ain't afraid of no ghost! Don't get caught alone, no, no! Yes! When it comes, comes to, to your door, unless you just want some more, I think you better call Ghostbusters! Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! I think you better call. makes me feel good. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! I can't hear you. Who are you gonna call? call? Louder. Louder. Ghostbusters! My neighbors love it. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! Who are you going to call? Seriously. Ghostbusters! A spooky, scary, lexi ghost is behind us. I saw uh, a I Moana like, thumbnail in there. If anybody ever wants to hear me sing a Moana song, I know them all. If, if anybody no, wants to donate for the Moana song, you can do it here. We are doing karaoke right now. And we are loving it right now. Lexi will jump in on the Moana song if you donate for it. That is a new incentive. All right, here we go. That was mine, yeah, yeah, this is mine. I may have a 
clip sip of your drink does. Have a good one, Jindor. That sucks when you Jalen forgets about you. I've been there before a million times. We have to do the stupid dance oh, that everyone does. It's gonna happen. Okay. They're gonna pop up. Say, <clears throat> Who wants to start? It's close to me. No. It's close to me Something evil's looking in the dark. You're the moon alive. You see your sight that's almost stopped your heart. You try to scream. But terror takes a sound before you make it. You start to freeze as horror looks you right between the eyes. You're paralyzed. Cause it's, it's a thriller, thriller night. You know I'm gonna save you from the beast you're about to strike. Cause it's a thriller, thriller night. You're fighting for your life inside a killer, killer. I think it's fucking right too, for the yeah. most part. Ooh. All right, you're all right. Yeah, hear the door slam. Realize there's nowhere left to run. You feel the cold hand. Wonder if you'll ever see the sun. Close your eyes. And hope that this is just imagination. Go by the mind. You hear a creature creeping up behind. You're at right the time. Cause it's a thriller. Thriller night. You ain't no second chance. So get the thing with body eyes, girl. Thriller. Thriller night. You're fighting for your life inside a killer. Thriller tonight. Forty eyes. Closing in on every side They will possess you Unless you change that number on your dial Now is the time For you and I to cover close together Yeah All through the night I'll save you from the terror on the screen I'll make you see This is the thriller Gonna three you tonight. Darkness falls the across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of blood and to terrorize y'all's neighborhood. And whosoever shall be found without the soul for getting down must stand and face the hounds of hell. And rot inside a corpse's shell. I'm. Dreams oh, tonight. Ooh, baby, I'm the dreams tonight. Ooh, darling, dreams tonight. Ooh, baby, I'm gonna throw you out tonight. Ooh, darling, tonight, baby. The palace stench is in the air. The funk of 40,000 years and grizzly ghouls from every tomb. 
are closing in to seal your doom. And though you fight to stay alive, your body starts to shiver. For no mere mortal can resist the evil of the Thriller. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fantastic. I have one of those things where I think I was like, where I was like shouting into the microphone and I'm like, I, I think I'm, like, I'm killing it. I'm killing it. I think it probably just came across like, <laughs> People were saying you were killing it. Everyone's saying you were killing it. That song scared no. me again. That's amazing. <laughs> Carly Kellen says Crash Test Penguin. Yo, if you want to hear some more karaoke before this night's done, I know we don't have a lot of time. Oh, also, she's a man, baby, from Thrill House. Oh, my God. Either Touch, Touch, God. Touch Me or yeah, the yeah, yeah, Seriously yeah. Over the Frankest I Put. Dude, Touch, Touch, Touch Me is great. Yeah. By the way, anybody, a uh, little quick, uh, uh, a little, a another little, another little uh, uh, suggestion for anybody. Anybody who's a fan of the Rocky Horror Picture Show, if you have not seen uh, the movie Shock Treatment, which Ooh, is like the, yes, the, the, sequel, the little known right? sequel to Shock Treatment, uh, to, to Rocky Horror Picture Show, uh, it's actually uh, really good. And then, to be honest, I kind of like it better than Rocky <gasps> Horror Picture Show. Interesting. I could probably be like 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 nailed to a wall for saying that. But the thing is, uh, <laughs> but I think it's, it's predictive of the current era that we're on better than like so many other like things that you would ever thought that would... I can't talk anymore. You're fine. You're I'm crushing. You're crushing. I, 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 was, I, was I was trying to make a I was trying to make a poignant point. I was trying to say the thing is because it predicted celebrity culture. It predicted like 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 worshiping somebody who just like. How can I watch it, Jack? Um, I don't know. I don't know where it's available. You probably find it on Amazon. I don't know. Like uh, you could probably like download it from there. But the thing is um. I keep hearing it had like a 40th anniversary or something. It's yeah. really good. It's not really no. It, the, the the biggest thing it has against it is there's no Tim Curry. He was offered the role of Brad <laughs> in that, but he was like, I can't. He, yeah, but he says, but I can't because because there's no. It's it takes there's place years later. Brad and Janet are married. So it's not. Uh, uh, yeah, and and he was like, I can't do. It. And Susan Sarandon and Barry Bostwick were out. They weren't doing it. Um, oh, they got so they got uh, Richard Bryan out. Well, he co-wrote it. He. Plays, they all play different characters, but a lot of the same cast uh, returns. Brad and Janet are the main characters, as well as uh, Farley Flavors. Um, there's Brad, Ma Brad Majors and Farley Flavors, played by the same actor. I can't remember his name right now, but um, um, but yeah, there's a. Um, it's like it all takes place like in a in a on a reality sh show slash mental hospital, and it's amazing. Yeah. So yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna check it out. Well, either way, we got. I'll loan it to you. I've got a DVD of it. So fuck yeah. yeah. We've got somebody's watching me, which I can't remember. I kept thinking that was Private Eyes, but that's. Uh, yo, I get, yes. And touch and touch and touch me. If you'd like to get in any last minute karaoke songs before we close out the night. Or a lip sync off. We haven't done a single lip sync competition tonight. Twenty five bucks to the lip sync competition for you, Jeff and Thrill? I. You will not be disappointed. No. Thrill House twenty three forty two, by the way, said Shock Treatment was made out of rejected direct sequel songs and it's a mess, but it's a beautiful mess and it's really endearing. That is a great oh, way to describe oh, wait, the movie actually. Start, it's fucking yeah, awesome. Lauren's been waiting a long time to oh. ask the trivia question. Can you give it to her? Are you guys ready for the tri trivia also, question? I have no idea if it's anyone out here would know, but I'm proud of it. I am drunk. Where is it? She's she's maybe she you have to ask it. Did she whisper you? Or I think she might have just had it ready to go, but she's waiting for good timing because she's been slipped. All right. P post it up, and we will ask I'm the trivia home. question. She's a man, baby. Ten oh bucks God. for the best Halloween song, best ever. Skeleton oh, Dan. Cute. You will definitely Do get Skeleton Dan for words? sure. Coming oh, in here in the last, so. in the last moments. Been, this is great. I love it. Yeah, yeah. We'll sure definitely get Skeleton yeah. Dan ready, we'll queued up and ready for you. The songs can come in. Or actually, no, we'll do, um, yeah, and we will keep it going past 10 if, uh, if, if the songs keep going. I think we're good. We'll be fine. I think you're fine. I think it's Halloween. Yeah. I think we're actually complained. I think it'll be good. How many times? As often? I feel no need to show up unhung over to my job. No, I don't think, I don't think, uh, Lex, I think it's completely fine, and I would not worry whatsoever about that. Uh, all right, let's rock. For sure. Thank you for your concern. All right. Boom, let's do it. Oh, this will be fun. Oh, I love this song. It's a good song. Right? I was feeling done oh, in. You can do it. Couldn't win. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
I'd only ever kissed before. You mean cheek? Uh-huh. I thought there's no use getting into heavy petting. It only leads to trouble and sweet wedding. No one I want to know is how to go. I've tasted blood and I want more. Ma, ma, ma. I'll put up no resistance. I want to stay the distance. I've got an itch to scratch. I need assistance. Touch, 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 touch me. I want to be dirty. Feel me, feel me, feel me. Creature of the night. Jesus. And if anything grows while you pose, I'll oil you up, rub you down. Down, down, down. And that's just one small fraction of the main attraction. You need a friendly hand, and I need action. Touch me. I wanna be dirty. Creature of the night, touch me. I wanna be dirty. Creature of the night, touch me. I wanna be dirty. Creature of the night, creature of the night. 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 Yay! Look at you guys pulling some Janet. I played, by the way, in college. No, I played oh. uh, I played Frank actually I at, at in Fort I, Collins, Colorado. Dude, where are your pictures? A much uh, pictures? A, a much younger, much uh, like, like 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 bony, skinny Jeff played uh, played uh, Frankenfurter in uh, in college at the, that's uh, real with, awesome. the, with the Rocky that Horrors man? we were called that's and so uh, great. at uh, the local Fort Collins um, movie theater, which I can't remember what it was called. But <laughs> Hell we yeah, used to do that, and I had a lot of. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, Here we go. Somebody's only fun. somebody's only watching me. She's a man, baby. Okay. It's not Halloween till someone sings a monster match. Uh, I'm so excited. Yeah, We've been practicing, so I'm so excited because that's the yeah, Kelman no, 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 cover no, 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 no. every Halloween. Good Good you guys gotta start. I don't remember this song, so you guys gotta start it. Yeah, I don't remember it. To me. Oh, the, the chorus okay. we know, but I don't know the. Uh, How does the verse go though? Who uh, feels brave enough to start the verse? Around, so is this music all right? We're good. All right. Who wants to go first? I mean, none of us know what we're doing, so maybe no. we just help each other. Until yeah. We're yeah. Carly starts. Okay. Great. <laughs> cool. I always make her start when I do it. I'm just an average man with an average life. I work from nine to five. Yeah, I pay the price. price. All I wanna be is left alone in my average home. But why do I always feel like I'm in the twilight zone? I always feel like somebody's watching me. And I'm like privacy. I always feel like somebody's watching me. The marriage is just a dream. When I come home at night, I lock the door. I like the door real tight. People call me on the phone. I'm trying to avoid all the people see that see me on my just paranoid. When I'm in the shower, I'm afraid to wash my hair. Cause I might open my eyes and find someone standing there. People say I'm crazy. Just a little touch. But maybe that was remind me of psycho too much. That's why. I always feel like somebody's watching me. And I have no privacy. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Play your tricks on me. 
I love these appropriately spooky noises. Yeah, this is very Or songs, rather. Noises. They are also spooky noises. They are spooky noises as well. In context. Jeff fucked? it with the high notes. Oh, that means Jeff fucked or that means Jeff fucked? Jeff, I think it means Jeff fucked. Like you are a sex animal. You're good, you go. I don't really know the verses on this, but I think we're doing a good job of getting through it. I think it's good. We got, we got our own take. Do you know anymore? And all the, the neighbors, neighbors watching, watching me. What is the man, man watching, watching me? me? And, and I don't feel safe anymore. anymore. Oh, what, what a mess. mess. I, I wonder who's watching me now. The IRS. I always feel like somebody's watching me. From the privacy. I always feel like somebody's watching me. And it's just a dream. I always feel like somebody's watching me. And I have no privacy. I always feel like somebody's watching me. You're playing tricks on me. I always feel like somebody's watching me. I have no privacy. I always feel like somebody's watching me. He was playing tricks on me. I always feel like somebody's watching me. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Somebody's watching me, 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 watching me. Always feel like somebody's watching me. Who's playing tricks on me? My throat can't handle anymore, thank you. There you go. Oh yeah, it's the NSA watching you, I hope you're ready for the monster match. If you if you want to get any last minute donations in, <laughs> now is the time. Oh, as we are coming to the close in our stream, keep it going with a lip sync off or a karaoke song. Until then, U.S. Doing. government most horrifying villain. Who's the best like like horror villain of the U.S. government? I mean, the thing is, you could easily say like Trump, but I mean, like like who'd be like a good sort of like you saw He's his face outside your window man. that you'd be like, oh. Fuck, and I'm gonna say Ted Cruz. <laughs> yeah, Ted Cruz would be the scariest. You, see, like, Ted Cruz you knew the answer when like you that. when you wrote yeah, that. I'm, I'm gonna wear Dick your Cheney. intestines as a hat. Unicorns. I would also it's say like, Dick Cheney. I think Dick Cheney. Hi from Burlington, Ontario, Ontario, Canada. Oh, What's up, the, uh, Aspie? How you doing, hey. man? Good to see you from Canada. Have you Canada. seen the trailer for Vice with uh, Christian Bale as Dick Cheney? Yes, I love it. Yeah. I'm it so looks excited kind of amazing. to watch it. Sam Rockwell. As George W. Bush is the best thing ever. Whoa. Yeah, it looks, oh, it look, yeah. Thing or not? It looks great. great. I hate to say it, but he is that silly. Dick Cheney is literally, literally Palpatine. Palpatine. That's amazing. Yeah. That's nice. I think it's yeah. uh, uh, Air. Uh, oh, who was going to say? Who's, who's the Othello? Who's the Othello uh, vi uh, villain? That's him. Aspie eighty six seventy five. Thank you for Iago. joining us, Aspie seventy five. But yeah, as we close out this goddamn stream, pretty yeah, much. If you want to get any but... last minute donations, we will do a song. We will do a dance off uh, we'll if you want. Hard. But uh, this this may be the end of it. We'll see with Monster Mash. Oh, Monster Mash is fun. That's a good way to close it out. Are you gonna do? All... Should I just do the choruses? I think we can switch off and we can get crazy. I will start it though for sure. Crazy? Are you sure? Can they handle it? This sounds like lunch. I was working lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from its slab began to rise. And suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. It was a mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. From my laboratory in the castle east to the master bedroom where the vampires feast. The ghouls all came from their humble abodes to get a jolt from my electrodes. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was, it was a graveyard a smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. Jeff, take it. 
Zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. The guests included the wolf man, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocking. Oh, we're going on chains, back by his bay now. World about to arrive with the vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Fire. The match. They proved the monster back. The counter match. It was a graveyard smash. They made the match. It caught on in like a flash. They did the match. They played the monster back. For coffin, Drag's voice did ring. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. He opened the lid and he shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my Transylvania twist? It's now the mash. It's now the monster mash. And it's a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. It's now the mash. It's now the monster mash. Thank you so much, Party, for hosting the stream. Also, Ron interrupted. Post your trivia question. Is the hit of the land for you, the living? The mash was meant to. When you get to my door, you tell a bar I sent you. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. Then you can mash. And do my graveyard smash. You'll catch on in a flash. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. Oh, mash. Mash good. Easy, Eagle. You impetuous young boy. Mash good. Man, baby. Smutty Potty, thank you for the sub. I think there. I think Love Shack and Monster Mash That was absolutely beautiful. It's a Shack Mash. Absolutely beautiful. Somebody once did a... Here is... Really quick, really quick. I'm sorry to cut you off. No, of course. Here is the question from Lauren Interrupted. Author Stephen King used a fictionalized version of what village located in Box Butte County, Nebraska, for several of his works including The Children of the Corn and The Stand. Isn't it a town in Rhode Island? I don't think it's Rhode Island. I think it's New Hampshire. Isn't he a New Hampshire guy? Oh, no, he's a Maine guy. He's from Maine. Yeah. Maine, right. Maine, it's Maine. Maine. I forget Maine, the name. Maine. It's not also the It town? I don't know. I think it's Maine. No, that's, that's Maine. Dairy. The, 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 the town, How if I know uh, what Children of the Corn, isn't that kind of, that's kind of good, isn't it? Am I, am I yeah, wrong with it? I feel like I, I watched it one time eventually thinking, oh, this is some bullshit thing, but it was like, but I was kind it's of in Nebraska. Like it's kind of weirdly sort of scary. No, guys. But... It's in Nebraska. No, Google Bandits, let them in. We have no answer. We cannot answer. We that's fine. Failed. That's the that's the closest guess I got. Wait, we wait, wait a second. Oh, oh, it's because the question includes located in Nebraska. We're yeah. just a little drunk. No, it's Nebraska. We we're are hammered. We're reading words. And, and we need to go celebrate our being hammered, them. I think. No, uh, I want to sing Not Dairy, not Castle Rock. Well, we're good. I think we're done. I think it's over. All, right? Yeah. Unless somebody's going to come in. We've had so many. Some heroes going to come in and make Carly's Yeah, uh, make Carly's dream. dreams come true with another song while we uh, close out. Thank the, you all for being here. I, guys, got, I love, too, that so we big. got through. I have a fucking wig full of questions. We got through three of them. We got through three quite I that's amazing. That's that makes like me and we started them earlier than normal weather. We started yeah. at eight thirty and we only got through three questions because the so first question stories. was what supernatural because experiences. There were so many answers. Ever. That's it what was awesome. there were so many answers. Answers. It's Hemingford. Okay. Hemingford uh I would have never gotten Nebraska. that Hemingford. Nebraska. I would never, never gotten ever, Hemingford. Never, ever. Thank you for the question. Pretty we sure appreciate you just made it up, Lauren interrupted. I think you made it up, by the way. I think it's a I think she waited long enough and her patience shows that she is nothing. But honest, life is nice. Thank you. Yay. Thank you for being yeah. Here I had such a good night. time, and I'm glad your dealer finally got back to you. I hope uh, you get your your drugs that you were requesting. Um, I do like that all Stephen King stuff is in all in the same universe. That's pretty cool. Oh, we have to do skull. We have to do skeleton Dan. You get another song. Yeah, we, do, yeah. Yeah, we totally have to do skeleton Dan. All right. Yo. All right, so here we go to close it out, Skeleton Dan. If you want to get a oh, last minute donations in, go for it. But we're closing out, I think, with Skeleton Dan here. I made Skeleton Dan since it's a little more melodic now, or it's not just screaming. For sure. All right, here we go. That's Preacher. Oh, whoops. There you go. <laughs> 
Skeleton Dan with his skeleton hands. He understands the dead man's plans. Skeleton Dan, he's a skeleton man. Burned on the cross by the Ku Klux Klan. Skeleton Dan, he's a Wall Street man. Wears a pinstripe suit with a ring in his hand. Skeleton Dan, he plays kick the can. And if you spin that bottle, you can't kiss a man. Skeleton Dan! Skeleton Dan! Skeleton Dan! Skeleton Dan! Skeleton Dan, he was buried in the sand and then the sun came out, gave him a skeleton! Skeleton Dan, he's a skell of a man and he'll fry you some bacon in his frying pan! Skeleton Dan, 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 he plays the bones in his skeleton band. Skeleton Dan, he's a Mangala fan. S-K-E-L-E-T-A-N! Skeleton Dan! Oh, Skeleton Dan! Oh, Skeleton Dan! Oh, Skeleton Dan! Oh! Dan! <laughs> we had that line that sounded like it. You guys are making me fun of me so hard if you can see me dancing in my kitchen. I have not been evicted well, yet. We'll see. Skeleton Dan! Oh! Skeleton Dan! Oh! Skeleton Dan! Oh! Skeleton Dan! Oh! He's a skeleton of a man. Skeleton Dan! Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Join us tomorrow for the Japanese Halloween special, 4 p.m. ET. It's gonna fucking blow your minds. You guys are going to love it. And, um, yeah, uh, you guys are the best. Uh, this has been a great night, and we appreciate it. Jeff, any final words? I love you fuckers. <laughs> Carly. Yeah, two things. Yeah. Two things. So tomorrow, if you're in New York, Calman, our show got moved to Our, our Wicked lady. lady. We'll be going on around 10 I p.m. I love that place, and I'm so fucking stoked about it. Check so it come, out. Come, come, come. And For then the sure. other thing is that on Saturday... We'll be doing Star Streamer on my channel. Like yeah. Carl's Bad oh, yeah, channel. that's right. That's Saturday. fucking Saturday. That'll be rad. Dude. It's happening. And uh, please come by because I think that we are all equally hey, just like ready yeah, to tackle ready to this keep game. going. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be rad. All and of you move to New York. And everyone just moved to New York. And New York, um, come, come to Brooklyn and I will spoon you. And we will wow. we will see you uh, yeah tomorrow 4 p.m. Japanese. If you're in New York, come to Our the Wicked Lady. We'll be going on around 10 p.m. And uh, that's it. Take care, everyone. Yes. Good Much night. Love. You're the best. Thanks. See you later, everybody. Thanks. 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 Bye. Bye. Cocktails, woo, with Jeff and Holden. Cocktails, woo, with Jeff and Holden. Cocktails, woo, with Jeff and Holden. Making cocktails for you, making you laugh, making you blue. Cocktails, cocktails, woo, with Jeff and Holden. Cocktails, woo, with Jeff and Holden. Hold and with
Jeff and Jeff.